How's it going, everyone? <clears throat> Genzin tried to get a hold of me there. You see him? God damn it. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> That's something stuck in my throat. Stay hydrated. <laughs> the, the best way. Ooh, that feels good. How's it going, everyone? Well, today, basically, we're going to be doing some uh, live arena battles, but for some reason, I forgot about Daylight Saver mode, okay? And what that means is, is they've pushed the time forward by one hour, which is usually at 8 o'clock my time from when I was used to it. So what we're going to have to do is do some other stuff for an hour, <laughs> pretty much. I was like, I didn't want to push the stream further to 9 o'clock uh, for the sake of it. So we're just going to do from 8 o'clock today. And um, we'll probably do some Cursed City stuff in the meantime, you know, do some account stuff, go into Live Arena, and then we're going to try and take down Amius a little bit later on. Or we might start preparing now as well, who knows which way we're going to go. But yeah, that's basically it for today's stream. Um, SGT, welcome. Um, Edges, Drummers, Bob, we've got JKG, Brandon in the building. How's it going, bro? Yeah, Live Arena's in an hour. I kind of mess up the times. It happens sometimes. <laughs> it happens. Um, is the music okay, by the way? You can get it a bit loud if you want. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. Let's do... Have I done my Doom Tower? I've done my Doom Tower here. Let's just get the Scarab King done. Set things off. Snackers, how's it going, bro? You know what it is, Snackers? You say this to everybody, and now I don't feel special anymore. You know? How's it going, man? Um, yes, I've done my Hydra already. LFC in the building. Welcome, guys. It's been a little while since we did a live stream, right? I was like, oh, let's just swing on. Do a bit of stuff. Chill out for a little bit. I don't tend to do too much live arena, but the thing is, is like, because I've got more into the hard variation of Fire Knight, and for some reason I'm anticipating a new difficulty for the Hydra boss. I'm not sure how many of you have seen my um, community post about the Hydra and which difficulty you're on. But the reason behind it was, is that I actually wanted to see where people were. Like, there's no news about it, by the way. This is just pure speculation. I just feel like it's just around that time, maybe somewhere in the summer, we might be expecting a new Hydra Head or something because they're bringing champions such as Fero into the game. They're trying to bring decreased resistance in a little bit more, decreased accuracy. And the main reasons why you'd want that is one, to progress, but two, to have enough stats to push the next uh, difficulty in a sense. You know what I mean? Like these feral the bark horns, these um, like the panda fusion as well, decreased accuracy. These debuffs may be needed to resist those debuffs, so... Who knows, man? Who knows? Let me know what you guys think, though. <laughs> Brandon. I seen your grills earlier. On um, Twitter, or X as they say. By the way, guys, if you do enjoy the streams, be sure to that like button. It does go a long way uh, when uh, creators go live, I guess. Helps YouTube push it out to as many people as possible. So I'd appreciate that, guys. A uh, grouching grandpa in the building. Welcome, man. How's it going? <laughs> Grilling season. Have you guys completed this Doom Tower rotation yet? Hard or normal? Doesn't really matter. I've been thinking, right? So, in the future, not right now, but I would like to start streaming some different games. Not creating content on it, but just streaming different games. Let me know what you guys think about that, if you'd be interested. Because there is a lot of games that I like to play in my spare time. Like, I've been playing Tekken for... I don't know, God knows. <laughs> Since I can remember, I've been a huge Tekken fan. And I was thinking of picking up the latest game, because I've not managed to get it yet. I was just waiting for the price to go down a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always a cheapskate when it comes to games. And then um, I'm a big player of Rainbow Six Siege. Well, I have been in the past, not as of recent times. I would like to start, you know, showing a bit more of what I enjoy to play outside of RPG, I guess. It would be pretty cool. We'll see. I need to figure out how to... Because I'm a console player. I'm not a PC player. So I can't do all that crazy stuff. So if I download these games on Steam, the issue is, is even if I use a controller, I'll be facing PC players. And they've just like, they're crazy. <laughs> when you face them with the con with the controller, so I may need to consider getting a capture card and then just doing it that way. Plug the PS5 in. I'm not too sure. 
And then even I was just thinking like walkthrough of other games as well. Like there's loads of story driven ones like God of Wars or, you know, Hogwarts Legacy or something that I'll be playing a lot as well. So some cool titles out there. I think would be nice. Assassin's Creed. Oof. It's been a few years, you know, since I played it. But I was a big fan back in the day, for sure. <laughs> Candy Crush. I respect it. A lot of AFK Journey. Yeah, I know Nubs has been doing it, right? Have you subbed to his channel? I know that he's got a um, a dedicated channel now on that game, which is pretty cool. Variety Friday, maybe. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Could be a good idea. It's just I don't know how many people would be interested in it, but I would be interested in it. So even if there's five people chilling with me, you know, I'll still have fun. We'll just hang out for a little bit. Um, all right, so that's done. Cursed City, I have got the keys, but what can we do here to progress a little bit? Now, I was stuck here on S8, but it's going to take a full rework of gear, which I should have done yesterday when the bloody thing came up. So let's just do a, um, clear up a few other floors in the meantime. Uh, how many is left in Cobble Market? One, two, three, four, five. So we could do that, or we could just take down some other bosses. Maybe this one. Maybe get some remnants could be a good idea. Let's just get some remnants. And there's a little boss there as well, which I'll be interested in. Um, who should we put together here? Drexar? Yeah, let's go Drexar. He's not posted in a while. Um, you got offered through stream elements to stream AFK Journey. Yeah, it seems very popular. Even Saf's been playing it a lot, to be fair. And um, Fiction as well, from HH Gaming. So, a lot of the guys have been playing it just for fun, I guess. Like, for me, my um, on-the-side game just for fun is... I had a sponsor for Dragonair. Many of you guys may have seen the videos. But since the sponsor, I've actually been playing it. And I've been enjoying it without the sponsor. And I think I'm enjoying it more without the sponsor as well, weirdly. Because I don't have to worry about, oh, I need to make this content, you know, trying to learn the game so quickly. Now I can actually take my time, understand the mechanics. And I'm just trying to, like, learn things in it, I guess. Oh, there we go. Ten remnants. You know what? We're very close to a summon. Have we got it yet? Remnant summon. Ninety. Oof. we just need just a couple more and we could try to get a mythical champion, guys. Where's the other one? Have I got it already? I think I have. Damn it. That'd have been cool to try and pick that up. What's this? Eternal Dragon. Let's see if we can take this down. Grand Oak Par Drake. Let's go. If you guys haven't seen the video, by the way, check it out. I'm a big fan of this champ. Um, we go with a panda. Firo. Let's just put Firo everywhere. But there's not enough damage here. And he's immune to poison, so he's useless. We could go for a freeze option in Creedon. Could be the play. Uh, we might be building up Anchorite later. I'm actually a big fan of Anchorite, but I was thinking of healers for Amius, and I, I think he's like the only one that I would consider as a full heal for my target. It just depends on what kind of team we go with, right? Or oh, if we can get some increased resistance, actually... With the buffs, we can actually just resist uh, cooldown effects. So let's go ally attack here. Let's save. Uh, let's get this on as well. Save this. We're going to put the AOE freeze on. Let's see if we can resist that now. It should do. Oh, everyone apart from Creed, and of course. Increase speed. A decrease accuracy on. Oh, that's what we needed to get on in the first place. That combination. Um, do you know, I'm just going to click auto and hope for the best. Let's just see what happens. We'll focus on the boss though and try not to kill the priests. Which you usually would want to do, you know, to get your cooldowns back. Nice. 2.5% uh, chance is not a great. Or well, for the remnant. Well, I guess it's better than a, uh, a primal shard, right? It's better than a Primal, so I'll take it. And it's better than a 2x as well. It's like double the 2x. Even better than a double of a 2x, pretty much. So, there's a chance. But it doesn't look like we're going to get it this rotation unless 
there's some remnants elsewhere that we can pick up. And that's going to be Amius, you know. We can get a summon there. But it would have been nice to get two. I actually neglected the Cursed City. I hated it. For so long. For so damn long. I don't know why. After the first rotation, I just didn't find any enjoyment in it. And then I was like, do you know what? There's so much resources in here to be neglecting. I think one of the main things was the, um, when I was doing the free-to-play as well. It's just so hard trying to juggle all that time, right? It's a bit annoying. But now that the free-to-play is over, I'm actually going to be giving that account away soon. Not sure when I'm going to do it or how I'm going to do it. I think the safest way is in a Discord. But announcing on YouTube because the problem is on YouTube, I can't actually direct comment someone or direct, you know. Because I've had issues in the past where this is actually one of the main reasons I don't do account giveaways anymore. Unless it's my account. is um, There's a lot of scammers out there, unfortunately. And people just, they look for the name of the winner. And then they make a separate Discord name that sounds like the name of the winner. And pretend to be them. So I've had some issues with that in the past. So I think announcing on YouTube but then doing it in Discord. Because there it will actually pick out the name by random. So people can't say, oh you fixed it YST. You know. You cheated. The bot will be picking it for me. And then from there, I can actually directly contact the person that the bot picks out. And that way, it goes to the right person. I just can't think of any other better way to do it. Honestly. But that account is stacked. It is stacked. Like, we're talking Duchess, Hefrax, you name it, man. Ultra Nightmare Clambos teams. You could beat every Doom Tower rotation. Like, it's a really cool account. I don't want it to just go into the dust, you know? Uh, Berso, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Jonathan, uh, great to see you back. I appreciate it. Yeah, we was away for a little while, right? We was away for a little while. But I guess, like, while we're doing this, I could just explain a little bit what's been going on. Well, I'd say, like, when, when did it start? Like, there's other issues as well, which I'm not going to go into, which is just, like, family stuff. But in terms of just me... I've been really, like, I hit a weight, right? Like, actual weight, which I was just not happy with. And I was basically just killing myself, right? Um, I was actually at the heaviest weight I've ever been. And it, because I was act I only came became full-time in uh, January last year. And before that, if you go back to my older videos, I was a lot more slimmed down, right? Way more slimmed down. Because I was always active, I was always, always on the move. And, you know, I was watching what I was eating. Just, it wasn't healthy. But it was just, you know, it wasn't takeaway every day. But I found myself in a rhythm over the past year of grinding YouTube, grinding, 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 and working from home for the first ever time. And it's like I would have my dinner, and then towards the end of the night, like, I'd be sleeping at 3, 4 in the morning and stuff. And then I'd be ordering, like, I don't know, a Domino's or a Subway. And, you know, it's not going to be harmful for, like, one or two times. But over time, I stacked on the weight. And then it started messing with my mental health and I was always tired. Literally always tired. Like I could sit there and sleep for 10 hours and I would still be tired, pretty much. So it basically came to a realization when I was with my friends in London and I had to run for my train. And I was out of breath, right? Completely out of breath. And I was like, holy shit, what's going on here, man? Like, <laughs> I know what's going on, but I just always be like, oh, no, you know, it's not that bad. You know, wear a, a big, a bigger hoodie or a bigger T-shirt. It'll be fine. And then even looking at the vlogs from Vegas, I was like, I was looking at myself like, that's not me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't ever look at myself apart. Obviously, in the videos, it's like whatever. But yeah, in person, when I was just seeing the whole thing, I was like, damn, like, it's embarrassing. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to speak about this stuff. I don't like speaking about it. It's a bit embarrassing. But, you know, I was just like, do you know what? For the first time in a year, I'm going to just... Go out of YouTube, try and fix my routine, go to sleep at a plausible time, um, eat properly and then get into some exercise because I hate the gym. I literally, I hate the gym, right? But I want to love the gym. <laughs> I really want to. I want to enjoy doing exercise. So what I've done is I've started doing 10K steps a day, uh, every single day without fail. And um, I've actually, it's, it's been really cool because now I can go out with my daughter as well. We have a bit of time together. We go for a big walk in the park. So that's been really cool. And then I go gym like three times a week. I don't go crazy on it. I just make sure I get my steps. I'm eating properly. And I'm going to the gym at least two, three times a week. And it's been something that I look forward to now in the, since I started doing it. And I think I went, I started at 92 kilograms, which is crazy for me. Like my height and my, you know, whatever you call it, the BMIs. And um, what's it called? 
Yeah, so that was crazy. And I need to drop all the way down. So right now, I've actually lost down to 88.2. So I'm nearly 4 kilograms down um, in the past month or so since I started. So yeah, it was a, I'd say it was a change I needed to do. Like disappear for a little while. Remember what's important in life. Look after yourself. Um, health is wealth, as they say. And yeah, man. That's basically uh, one of the things. Before was like some other stuff in like November, which I'm not going to speak about. But in terms of just myself, that's basically what's been up. So hopefully over the videos, you'll see that I'm starting to stream down again, maybe. You know, <laughs> it'd be nice. Yeah, standing desk could be cool as well. I was looking into some in the right sizes and things, but... Yeah, for, for now, I'd say, like, the main thing is, of course, the main goal is I want to lose weight. But it's also, it's, it's more of the lifestyle and mental change for me, which is most important. Like, I hate, I, I can sleep for 10 hours, wake up, I'll be knackered. Whole time. And then because I'm so tired... It's affecting my work, my YouTube, right? I'm like, oh, you know, I can record this video tomorrow or I don't want to prep this video because I'm so tired and looking at a light and looking at a screen, it would just do my nutting. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, now I'm feeling a lot more refreshed, a lot more alive, more active. You know, I'm not just sitting behind the computer screen all day. I actually go out and touch grass, as they say. And it's been uh, really good on the mental, I'll say. I'm not tired anymore. Very rarely am I tired. In the past week, anyway. Because um, it took a, a, a good while to get my body used to it, right? Like, literally, I've cut out um, all fizzy drinks. I used to drink a crap ton all the time. Cut out takeaways. And all I do is eat, um, what's the word? Single ingredient foods, right? So I can have whatever I like, but the food has to be like single ingredients. So, yeah. Um, I think like over time and I'm actually enjoying my foods now. I'm not starving myself. I'm not hungry. <laughs> you know, that's that was the issue I had in the past was I just star starve myself all the way down. I was like, I, it just wasn't sustainable. So I feel like I've got a plan now that's sustainable. And hopefully by July time, I can get down to where I want to be. About 75 kg is what I'm aiming for. Um, should be pretty cool. We'll see though <laughs> how it goes. It's going well so far though, which I'm happy with. Um, but anyway, without the way, what else can we do here? Uh, did that knock kill himself? LFC with the five. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. It's not embarrassing. Keep this rhythm. When it gets good. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Get healthy. Do you know what? I was thinking of doing a video like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually documenting my um, my journey with like pictures and stuff. I'm not going to post anything now. Of course, it's embarrassing for me. Anyway, don't want to put my body out there. <laughs> but um, what I might do is, is once I actually get to where I want to go, whether that be six months, a year or whatever, um, then I might post the transformation and then say how I did it um, from working from home, I guess, um, to maybe help some people out. Because it's something that I've always struggled with, watching all these bloody YouTube videos and you name it. It's just, it just comes down to you. I feel like the main thing is you need a why, right? For me anyway, you need a why, like why are you doing this? And for me, it's I want to leave a positive impact on my children, not to see that I'm lazy um, in terms of fitness and then just looking after myself and eating properly. And, you know, I don't want to be like older and I can't go out on my kids and be active and crap like that. It's just not worth it. So. Yeah, I'd say that's my why. And it keeps me going every day now. Uh, pulled Snick Track on the 2X Ancients, then just today pulled a 6-star Soul for him. Congrats. He's actually one of my um, favorite legendaries in this game. Love that champion. Top tier. Got some remnants here. We could chase it. Let's see if it gives us 10. Can anyone recall if that gives us 10? Uh, Nogda. Uh, Maginor. Who else can we use here? Maybe Iron Brago. Could be pretty cool. You started a fit vlog a few years back, but got hella anxious and stopped it. Yeah. No, it's, it's definitely, I like, I commend anyone that does that kind of vlogging stuff. For like fitness journeys. But a lot of them that I see is basically what I said is they kind of get to where they want to do and then document the journey. Because now they're not embarrassed of their body anymore, right? Boom. That Nogdar is just killing himself. He's actually in a decent build as well. What's going on here? <laughs> it's just... What's going on with this guy? <laughs> LFC. 
Um, we are mean, meaning seeking beings. Why is important? Yeah, 100%. Any thoughts on Jack Bonesaw? I've never used him before, but I've been anxious to. But maybe some people in the chat could um, give you some insights. I don't know too much about him. I did make a guide for him when he got released for the hellhades.com. If you want to check that out, um, I've got some recommendations on there, but... I've never actually played with the champion. I just based it off the kit. I can't completely recall it. Well, that's nice to hear, Silverleaf. Um, sitting more than four hours a day, in fact, is the worst thing. Yeah, talk about... <laughs> for me, it wasn't even four hours. It was like 10, 15 hours. <laughs> like, always behind the chair, sitting down, sitting down. My average steps, right? In bags, do you know what I can tell you? And then I was actually with my friends in London at the same time, right? And then they was like, oh, what's your steps at the moment? I'll tell you what it was. So right now, for the part since I started, I've been averaging um, 9,000 to 10,000 steps. Before that, when I was just doing YouTube only, nothing else, right? I'm not even sure if you can see this. You can even see on the graph. Can you see that? 345 steps. Do you, know, do you know how crazy that is? How dangerous that is over time? No movement. Like, there'll be the occasional time where I go out, you know, shopping or whatever, and it'd go up a bit. But I never actually sat and looked at the app and be like, is that it? Like, 345 steps is like me walking down the road. And I couldn't even do that in a day. I was like, why is T, you lazy shit? <laughs> never again. Never again. Not getting myself down in that bloody rabbit hole. All right, um, God Seeker. Who else could be putting it? This is actually a pretty tough one. Um, Valor? I actually like Valor. She's pretty decent damage dealer. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah, I don't think XX skin is going to be a issue for me. Like, even JKG, you see in the chat, like, he, he's seen me in person in Vegas. Like, I'm not, like, big, you know what I mean? It's like, I still, like, look just fine. But just for, like, what I'm used to, it's not right. <laughs> Pretty much. It's not right. So, the jumpers can't cover it up. Damn, I actually want to beat this one. Mm. Maybe we auto this. I actually want to beat this so we can get that remnant summon. Boom, boom, boom. As long as we can keep these uh, Godseeker alive is the main thing. Get the shield on. Ugh. No, don't kill him. Alright, the reviving death is fine. Let's get decreased attack on. I think we'll be able to beat this, slowly but surely. Take you out. Counter attacks. Take you out. Boom! Remove those shields. Okay, once. Take you out now, hopefully. Oh, nearly. Those freezes are brutal, man. If only you could be immune to freeze for us instead of just the fear on the Hydra head. Take you out now. Boom. Bang. There we go. Round one done, at least. Let's take him out first. Uh, oh, wait. He's going to revive us. Um... Boom. Get shield on. <sighs> Woo! Okay, then. Skrank is a top-tier burn champion for anywhere you want. Whether that be the spiders, 
or the Hydra. Um, actually, check out the Hydra Clash. Hydra Clash, I actually picked him as my primary burner. And he did very well. Oh, what kind of... Oh, what kind of room is this, man? It's not enough. We need some kind of buff strip or something. Godseek has not got no gear on as well. Let's take him out. Have we got like Rian the Conjure? Oh, we do. That's perfect. I reckon the fat could be good. We could keep... The Actually, no. One Shamil is fine. My main one. Maybe take out the... Hmm. Bala was doing pretty good there, right? She was doing pretty good. But we need some damage. Uh, maybe, maybe just go Farrakhan. And we can use Rian the Conjurer to revive if we need it. Could be the best play. But I don't know if we're going to need... um. Who do we need to take out first? Lana Faro, right? Doing that ally attack stuff. Let's get him out. Take you out. Get those fears out. Get a weaken on. Get a decrease attack out so we don't take the damage. Get a shield on. Oh, that's fine. Um, you end up getting a spice bag on your trip to Mr. Nubby's. No, we didn't. We ended up having something else. We was going to have it. Just never ended up having it. Partnering with, with Rathalos. Yeah, that's a good idea. Amplify the damage of your burns. Be pretty cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's take that damage. That's fine. And go boom. There we go. The problem is we don't have any heals for her. Ah, this is going to be a nuisance. Is Dark, I think Dark Kato is just a waste of time here, right? I think if we just get the God Seeker in, we might be okay. But I don't know why she's got no gear on. What's happening here? Okay, let's just put some gear on her. That, you know, as a starter, at least. Is there any regeneration? Just so she stays alive, becomes immortal, in a sense. Generation. What we got here? Right, that'll do. That'll do. Speed. She's got some gear on now. This should be able to do it. You're confident in this one. As long as we can keep Inquisitor, keep reviving him. Double Reviver. AOE heals. I just want that Remnant summon so badly. Let's go for him again. Doom, doom, doom. True fear. You don't need to heal yet. You boom. Uh grunge job with Raphalos, turn off A2, place the burns. Um you still do promo codes on mobile. Yeah, how do you do it on the mobile by the way? I think it's um it takes you to an alternative site, right? You need to put your UM number, something like that. Um, wait, is Inquisitor down? Bring him back. Look at Valor go. Use the fence. Can we get a weaken out there? Go. We need to get an AOE heal ASAP, Godseeker. Um, let's take out you for now. Some more fears. Get some heals. That's what we needed. Burns. And this is looking a lot better now. And we want to kind of save our active abilities for round two. This is actually a pretty hard wave in hindsight. Maybe if I had all the champions ranked up, could have been a bit easier. Boom. Live arena in 29 minutes. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while. I need to be... The main reason for it is I need to grind my uh, medals. 
need to grind my medals uh, so I can do these um, other areas in the game. There's some counter attacks. Perfect. Take him out. Boom. There we go. Oh, look, there's a Valor on this wave as well. Um, actually, no, we'll save our things for now. Get our block buffs on him. Get shield on. Because he's going to do some revive stuff soon. Mm. Yeah, burn on you. Oh, weak hit. Why did I do that? Uh, let's take him out. Boom. Reduce those durations. Save everything for now still. Is that a block debuff they have active? That increased defense. Put that on you. Right. Mm. Still try and take him out. Slowly but surely. He wants. Boom, boom. I'll I attack. Take him out. There we go. Pretty much dead. Mm, now we. I, I guess we can get a weaken out now. And then we can go. Actually, we can just kill him. And then we can kill the this dude. Get him out. Now we need to save all of our skills again. So let's get the shield on. Boom. Nice. Let's go. Um, man, the chicken. They got a goddamn chicken. Let's try to take her out first. She's going to be the damage source. Get her out. Boom, boom, boom. Get those spheres out. Get some heals on for Farrakhan. Get a weaken on. Big nuke. He's going to do a cleanse if he doesn't get feared. Which I hope doesn't happen. Yo, Benzo with the 10 YST membership gifted subs. This is a first time for me. We got the uh, little... Um, present box at the top there. Big shout out to Benzo. Here we go. Yo, Benzo. Genzen thanks you for the gifted subs. Thank you. Genzen just popped out for you there, bro. Thanks so much, man. Didn't have to do that. But for anyone that was gifted a membership, please say thank you. I'm sure you'd highly appreciate that. And then also, Benzo is welcome to the YST's Members Club. Look at him. He literally, he gifted out the members before becoming a member himself. Thank you so much, man. Highly appreciated. Uh, for anyone who did actually get a membership, you can now use emotes in my videos and the stream. So feel free to spam the heck out of those. Let's go. How's it going, Benzo, man? Um, let's go ally attack here. Take him out. Is that a good idea? We're just doing some... Ugh. Wicked, man. Appreciate you. Legend. We need to get this war chief out. Come on. Die. There we go. Oh, we can't use the burn yet. Ooh. All right, so he's down. So let's get him back. Reset the cooldowns. Boom. Decrease defense. Weaken. Take that off. Come on. Ally attack. Kill the hack on Smash Lord. Nice. Take you out. Don't have to waste that skill. Now we can just click auto. Oh, we did it. Man, that was a pretty tough... They made me work for my remnant summon. Guys, we're gonna about to hit a remnant summon. We're gonna get our first guaranteed champion today. Let's go. Guys, smash that like on the stream. Let's bring all that positivity in. We got the 
uh, gifted memberships from Benzo. It's all going on today. We've got one remnant summon and a dream. We're going to do four ancients first and get a guaranteed legendary, of course. Probably not going to happen, but we're going to try. Here we go. We're going to get that mythical. I'm telling you, it's coming. It is coming. Life taker. Take my life for a mythical. I don't care. Epic champion, who we get? Valor, of course. Of course we got a Valor. Come on. 2.5% chance to get a mythical champion. Are we going to get it today? One shot in a dream. Bring it home. Well, didn't go too well, did it? <laughs> it didn't go too well, Warcaster. It could have been worse, I guess, but how much worse could it have got? There's literally only epic champions. But we got a void epic champion. So technically it could have been worse. Oh, that mythical has been evading me. He's been evading me. Damn it. God's sake. Uh, one of these days, we're going to get it, guys. I don't even have bloody Lady Makage yet. This is it's just becoming a shambles right now. All right. Um, we've got three more battles, and then we can head into live arena in 20 minutes. I'm excited. What do we get here? Candles. This just shows you how far behind I am in terms of carnage. I didn't play um, Curse City for like two rotations when I wasn't enjoying it. Dragon, what can we do? Oh, we got Marishka. This should be pretty easy, right? Um, oh, my Stouters isn't built yet. Oh, wait. Lissandra. Cheeky Tactics. I'll show you guys. Oh, Helia. Cheeky Tactics. I'll also show you guys. Here we go. This is going to be exciting. All right. I'm getting increased speed on for now. Boom. Get a damage. Can we get decreased accuracy out? No, we don't want to do that yet. So we're going to wait. Boom. Some nice poisons. This is what we want to see. And what we're going to do now is three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> All right. That's basically what we do, guys. You can also do it with the A1 of Lissandra. So for anyone that's struggling with the dragon, um, you can actually use the A1 of Lissandra in a high um, survivability build and solo this boss. I'm going to try and make a video soon, as I don't think anyone's done it yet on a video. But this transfers all debuffs from this champion to a target. So as long as you can build Lissandra for survivability, and you can kill the waves on um, stage 10. I think you could just like full auto it. Like with presets. Just A1, A1, A1. And if you've got like brimstone or something. Whatever that may be. You know. Just take it down super quickly. I'll try it out. We shall see. But I use it in a lot of areas. So I might do it on the test server. Healy is too good man. Like I underestimated this guy so badly. But he is top tier for dragon. Top tier for um, the Never Spider. You take off all those poisons from your champions, throw it straight back to the boss every time. Like, all you need is high survivability on him. High res if you want it, so he doesn't get damaged. But I can show you the build I've got. I've got him in Stone Skin because for my Stage 10 team, what I used to do was um, let everybody else take the poisons. He will take no damage, send it back to the boss. And then once everyone else dies, you just keep transferring it back pretty much. Uh, yeah, top tier champion, man. You've had Makagi. You've been waiting to be pulled for five weeks now.
So why, why did you wait five weeks? Wait, are you wait? What else did you want to do? Did you want to fully book her at the same time? Is that what you're waiting for? Dragon almost down. Let's go. How many of you actually went for the Panda Fusion? For some reason, I wasn't a big fan of him, but of recent times, I've been loving using the Panda. What else we got here? I ain't got space for this. To be roll, re rolling rare gear. Re roll this though. Um, what's S2? Yeah, I need to be re rolling some champions. What's S1? Potential. Um. What's D24? Don't have enough ascensions. Don't have enough ascensions for this one. Um. D23? Maybe we do. We can claw this one together. Wait, it's bloody Samson. Samson's scary. Now let's just do this. Oh, you missed the past fusions. Yeah, like he wasn't a crazy top tier champion, still isn't. But I just, I really enjoy using him. I think he's really good for my, like, lower stages of Hydra Boss. Like, that decreased accuracy. Like, don't ever underestimate decreased accuracy, guys. It will change your Hydra team if you're progressing or just struggling with debuffs and keeping them off. Like, once you eliminate 50% of their accuracy, put a bit of resistance on, or pair of decreased resistance champs. Oh, for God's sake. No burns. Who does block revive? No, no, we could just use Ignatius. Um, yeah, let's get the burn on. Kill everybody. There we go. Kill them down. Boom! Take them out. It's damage. Oh, nearly. All this might come in clutch for this Amius later. We'll see how it goes. But I need a decrease attack. Well, what do we get? Well, that looks pretty nice. We might get a quad roll speed there. Let's go. What's this? HP, flats. Keep that. Um. Ooh, never spider. I don't know. It's not. It's the tainted scavok. We should be able to just blast this down with pure damage, right? Pretty much. One shot it with Rotos. Even though I don't like using Rotos, but we are today. Um, maybe some poison, some hex. Got the chicken. I have got the chicken. Just do it like this. See what happens. We're going to try and take him down super quick. You did the panda because he's so cute. Um, you pulled Makage. She's finally ready for action. Everyone's got Makage here. Do you know what? I'm going to put a little um, poll up. You guys let me know. Who's got Lady Bakage? Um, engage with your audience. Is that it? Yeah, here we go. Have Actually, do you know what I'm going to change it to? Have you got a, a mythical champion? And this is including... Actually, no. We'll do two polls. First one is, do you have you fused Lady Bakage? Alright, we'll leave this up for five minutes, and then I want to do one for have you ever pulled a mythical champion as a second one? Because I still don't have Mikage. I'll show you my progress now. What else did we get? Attack. Blech. I'm trash game, man. Oh, I don't have the chaos all for this raid. Uh, my Mikage is... Well, we got Ear Straight, which is cool. I've got everyone apart from Firegun, Isbell, and Colin, Ilfric. And then we can bloody get it. Need her, man, so badly. Just to make my finite hard 10 team. I've already got one, but uh, just a new one, I guess. We had one more key. No, we don't. All right, let's have a quick look at Amius. Oh, this is just something stupid I was trying earlier. Like, am I going to go the traditional route for Amius here or not? I would like to. 
I would like to do a traditional strategy. Problem is there's no ally protection for the strategy I came up with in the first rotation. Um... So, place a debuff. Strip the debuff of Geomancer. I'm just, I'm just trying to think of a strategy off the top of my head here. Place a debuff, force him to switch. No, we don't place a debuff, then force him to switch. Cleanse it off with Geomancer's A2. Remove debuffs. Apply the heal reduction. Max HPs, non-removable shield from Underpriest Brogni, and also allows us to heal from the AoE attacks. Let the second form actually place the sleep debuff and not just do 3 a once, so we can actually survive a bit. And you can't change the shield anyway. Then it's just about having a tank to survive the last hit in a high star blessing, which could just be my Venom Age, so it's the person with the lowest HP. And just slowly but surely max HP it down. That's probably going to be the way to go. Like, Geomancer's Burn's going to eliminate, you know, 15% of that damage for us. The heal reduction from Venom Mage, another 15%. So now we're reducing 30% incoming damage. So we should be able to heal quite a lot here. Um, so I spent like two hours trying to do this boss in a very specific way. Then swapped him Fusion and killed him in a couple tries. Oh, man. Yeah, he's a bit like me. Like, we like to do, um, like, try to beat the boss to its mechanics, I guess. Like, when the, when this boss first came out, before I made that video, I was up for, I think, 14 hours straight doing it. Trying to come up with it. <coughs> Obviously, a lot of more easier ways to come out now, but I always like to study a boss, especially because I do the guides on hellhades.com. I need to make sure I'm clued on to not just cheesy strategies, but... Like, how to actually beat it to its mechanics. Because there's lots um, to, you know, deal with here, right? Like, loads of different things you need to be considering. And I, I actually sat and rated all 800 champions in the game for the website. So, that should be going live sometime this week, I believe. So, if you're looking for some champions for Amius, um, I've kind of done a lot of the rankings there. Which should be going live soon. But we'll be revisiting that soon. Clan was done. Brutal. We've got 10 minutes still live arena. We're just anticipating it now. I don't know what took longer. Wait, what's the longest strategy I've done that took me to come up with? I've made so many strategies over the years. So many. I'm trying to think. Um, I'd say probably Cornelia. Was it Cornelia? Cornelia could have been the longest strategy I ever did. Like, in terms of time, because it wasn't like the attempts. The attempts could have been the same as other stuff. But it was... It's the length of the run before you find out you could fail. Like, you could be 10 minutes into a bommel run and find out it's out of tune and you have to do it again. Go back in, do it. Not again, not again. So I think that one took me a long time to perfect it. But then uh, Ray just went and nerfed the Frenzy gear, right? They, they messed it up. And now they've got some useless set in the game. Destroyed all my champions. How dare they? Like, who uses this? Let's be honest. Who's using this trash set, man? <laughs> I swear. Why? They ruined it. When I seen that change, I was like, you bloody Plarium. Now, Cornelia was... It was about a 20-minute run. But, in but when you think about actually making a strategy for the first ever time, the issue is, is like, for something like Bomb War anyway... You can go 10 minutes into a run if it's a solo strategy or, you know, 3-4 minutes on something else to find out where, damn, at this point I die. What can we do to change it? So it's not like, oh, you find out immediately, like when you face a dragon, you know? Like, <laughs> with these solo teams, it's some, some crap you have to go with, man. Um, especially that it wasn't, it was the only solo strategy back then that didn't, it wasn't based on block damage and it wasn't based off passive healing. It was actually based on timing. It wasn't just survive the hits, right? So we had to um, take damage, sleep ourselves, take damage, sleep ourselves, 
counting the 50% turn meter. And then when we take damage from a dread bomb, we have to tune it to make sure we take another turn before the second dread bomb and place a sleep before the boss takes another hit. It was some technical stuff back then, man. But yeah, they messed it up. So now we've just got Cadelius for elsewhere. Still a top tier champion though. I think I'm going to be using her in Curse City up here. Sand Devils. Sleep Champion. So, we might do um, Kenny Lira's back video in the foreseeable future. Should be pretty cool. Let's see, who is Kenny Lira? Who's going to brighten up my day? There we go. Who's this guy? He used it. I'm happy. Another Kenny Lira. We're back. We're back. We love you, Kenny Lira. Always. Where are you? Let's bring you on the screen for two minutes. Look at that. I'm going to be doing a, maybe a guide. Do you know what? Should I do my Adolin guide tomorrow? Should I do it the next day? What do you guys think about Adolin, by the way? That free champ that we get him. Obviously, we got the obvious thoughts of, is she worth the books? Probably not. You know, but then she kind of needs the books to enable the kits, which is an issue. I came up with like um, a little Sand Devil team for the video. It's, it just there's not much to show, guys. There's not much to show with her. Where is she from? What is she? She's Sacred Order. Banner Lords. Like she looks, she looks pretty cool. I like the aesthetics. Don't know what's going on in that book. She's doing some scary magic stuff. But like you know, now what's going on here, man? So I'll tell you something, guys. I was going to save it for the video, but for anyone that's here, do you know how this actually works? <laughs> it's, it's worse than we thought. It is worse than we thought. Right, what's this? So basically, uh, let me just find an example here. So let's just say if you lost 25% of your max HP, right? Head of Decay is fully depleted you. You're like, holy crap, I wish I can fully revitalize it. Like a Marishka or a Grand Oak Padre who fully restores. So you would only heal. Are you ready? 6.25% of your max HP. That's how she's coded. No one's spoken about it yet. Me and Saf were diving into it yesterday. And I was like, wait a second. Does she actually heal? Like, does she do a 25% restoration heal? Or is it a percentage of a percentage? And the way that they've coded her is she restores 25% of the percent, right? So if you got like 25%, it'll be 6.25% because it's 25% of that, right? So, yeah. Um, in terms of restoration, they've crapped on that as well. Um, which no one's really spoken about yet. This is like... You know, like, come on. Just give Alessandra's A1. Transfer all debuffs to a target. This I don't mind. Like, in terms of, they said they want... This is their problem. They kind of dug a grief for themselves for this one. Is they, They've advertised it as an early to mid-game champion. But the Sand Devils Necropolis is a late-game boss to face. Like, I went through three months of the free-to-play. Consistently, more than probably most free-to-plays would. And... I didn't even touch Sun Devil outside of trying to get some points for the leaderboard. You know what I mean? Like you do stage seven, we could use a rare for that. What's that guy called? Is it is it Undead Hordes? Does it does the Muck Stalker dude? Is he a lizard? He's a lizard, right? This guy. Plays asleep for two turns. No books needed. We don't need to place a book. He's a rare champion. If you're trying to do stage 7 or stage 12, just put this on for progression like they said. Place a sleep on, right? Do your damage. Happy days. Like, but in terms of endgame usage, this champion is like, for me, on my account, I need this to speed farm Shogun. Or not Shogun, Sand Devil. She fits into my teams perfectly. Because the decrease speed allows you to bring down the um, your damage dealer's speed so you can invest more into damage. Someone like a newt, if you can't reach the speed requirements, which is about 250, I believe. Something like that. Which is cool. You've got the extra debuffs, you know, she's placing it as well. So she's great for Sand Devil, but 
not an early to mid game. The, the actual, the heal is very nice. Like on my free to play, I don't have any AOE healers after three months. And when I was looking through healers, there's not a ton in the game. So I can see how this could be valuable um, for the vast majority of players. But the issue is, once again, you need to invest books and it might not be guaranteed to go into the A2, right? For progression. Uh, you might be going into the A1, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can go 5, 6, 7, 8 and be like, oh, crap. <laughs> 9, 10, 11. <laughs> so it's not guaranteed to go there. So it's like, it's a bit of the Yogg the Insatiable problem, right? For early game. Because you go through, you book up the Yogg the Insatiable, and later on you're like, why the hell did I book that? So, I don't know. If it was me personally, what I would have done for this champion is... Simple fix. Simple fix. I'll fix it in five seconds. AoE raid. AoE. That's it. AoE. It's that simple. And we'll be good to go. AoE here. Make this actually restore the full bar. And give her a full transfer A1. Or something. Just like a decreased attack A1. Something that's useful for clan boss. What we get here. Maybe a poison. I don't know, man. Like, a fifth, not even 100% chance of transferring one random debuff. And then when we was just using Lissandra right now, right? This is a bit of a comparison here. OG champion, been here for years. Transfers all debuffs from this champion to her target with no books. This champion does, transfers one random debuff... Which needs four books. I just don't get it. But overall, she's a pretty cool champion for endgame scenarios. As I mentioned, or the heals. If I was like a new player, I'd probably just use the heal as it is. It'll still probably carry you. Like, we got an accuracy aura by 60. So if you're struggling to reach the accuracy requirements, it's still going to be very cool. You get an extra damage against some targets. But once again, most bosses aren't... You can't place decrease speed on a dragon. You can't place decrease speed on a clan boss. You can't place sleep on any bosses apart from Sand Devil. So then you've just got a 3% damage boost for decrease attack. You know what I mean? I don't know. I was struggling with it. I was struggling with it. I was like, do I even make a video on this? Like, you know, gonna throw it into some endgame team and be like, there you go. What else can we do with her? I don't know. Is Live Arena open yet? 25 seconds. Yeah, an AoE. Honestly, that AoE ability changes Adolin completely because you've now got a decrease speed, decrease attack placement skill for Hydra Boss. Phenomenal, right? You can use that everywhere. AoE for the waves, whatever that may be. A single target is just, come on, man. 2024, like, if this was three years ago, I might be looking into it a little bit more. But as it stands, nah, man. They could have done a bit better for a free champion, in my opinion. It could just be me, like... At the end of the day, it's a free champion. None of us should be complaining, right? None of us should be complaining, but... It's easy to make that comparison to past champions that we've had for free. And they've all been very, very good in certain areas. Or bring some fundamentals for progression. Because these new player champions is for new players, right? It's to bring new players into the game. They get their new shiny legendary and, you know, that's basically why they do it. Oh, you took my amans. I put him on my leader. I put him on my thumbnail. How dare you? Um, I guess let's just try and get our damage dealer secured. And my supports go Duchess Harima. Oh, I should have went for Wukong. If he goes Wukong, I'm going to be so annoyed right now. But yeah, for me, in terms of his free champions, he took it. Ah... Let's see the end of that poll, by the way. So, 75% no, 25% yes. Let's go. Loads of Makagi's out there. Come on, choose your last ones, buddy. Got the Xena Warrior Princess. 
Probably have to just go Yumiko right for the last one. Um, let's just do um, the second poll that I wanted to do. But this one is not including Lady Makage. Have you pulled a, a mythical champion from Shards? Get out of there, Mons. Oh, Harima. Took away my Harima, but he doesn't know that we love Kandrafon round here. We love Kandrafon. The only missing fire gun is Bell. Same for me. Well, I need Ilfrig as well, to be fair. Our first, first live arena battle of the day, and we go for the full reset. You should have taken it out. Boost our turn meter. Increase our attack. I'm about to unleash Kandrafon. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. What? He came behind me. He smacked me from my chair. Um, how old are you, YST? I'm old enough to be a father of two children. So, I'm not super young. But I'm still young, pretty much. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful nuke. Coming out from the candy. Never underestimate him. Let's go. Shouldn't have taken my amounts. Round two, let's go. Now, I'm 28, turning 29 this year, in August. So, still pretty young, I guess. Seventeen. Let's <laughs> sake. All right, here we go. Yeah, I do need to start pushing my live arena because I need these bonuses. Oh wait, I do want to try get Amon's in there. Um, I do need those bonuses for the development, right? For these Hydra bosses and Fire Knight as well is the primary reason. I want to ignore a bit more defense, a bit more crit damage, something like that. So the only way to do it is by doing it right. And the times are really just off for me in terms of the... Unless I'm streaming, uh, these kind of windows are just not ideal for me to actually push, unfortunately. So, yeah. Alaz or Gizmak are very different champions, right? You're in August too. Um. Oh, he took my Duchess Lilla too. I'm gonna take his Marishka then. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh wait, we need. Oh no 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 no. Oh no, I need to take his. Ooh, this is sticky situations. Kind of want my Harima in there. Arima! Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It could have been a lot better for progression. Like, even if it was a worst champ... Not even... I can't even say worst champion. Just done in a way where you can get the value of stuff maybe without needing books. You just get the cooldowns for it or something. Like, for a single target debuff, I don't think that's too bad to ask for, personally. Uh, damn, we haven't got any... Got no revivers. We're just gonna have to try and rock with it and see what happens. I'm still new to Gold Live Arena, so it's pretty exciting for me. I'm not used to the banning phase, because I was in Silver for ages. But we creeped into Gold. Uh, maybe we could try to get to Gold too. Maybe in the next few weeks. Be pretty cool. Where about to you guys in terms of Live Arena? If anyone's in gold one around my kind of points, try and time it with the stream. And then we can try and fight each other. Be pretty cool. Um. He's got to increase attack now, so... He's not going to be able to deal the damage that he wants from Ronda. Unless he's just trying... Oh, no, he's trying to block active skills me. He's trying to block passive skills me. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to block passive skills with the Ronda. The Ronda Rousey. Ooh. No! He's down already. Kandrafon is not unleashed anymore. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get a provoke out. 
Boom. What's he going to do? All right, let's go. Oh, no. UDK. All right, let's get a heal on. Stay protected from that Taras. He's got no buffs. So we should be cool. If my Harima starts to stack in terms of sustain, we should be okay. But now that it's the banning phase, I need to be investing in some more champions and not just banking on the same ones. I might actually get Big Papa Druck on the channel. We was planning a collab and maybe he can walk me through some top picks for Live Arena. Could be for a cool video, right? Oh, that monkey's just going to keep coming back. I kind of want him to nuke my Harima right now. My Marishka. Yep. Bring back him. Let's go. We're going to unleash the Candyman. Look at that. Max HP restored. Oh. Man, what are we going to do here? Just have to go with a big nuke with Candy and hope that it... Oh no, he's going to do an AoE, right? Has he got it ready? Oh no, he doesn't. We reset him. Candy! Kaboom! Um, Kaboom? Nearly? No? Man, that Wukong just keeps coming back. He sets. Um, oh, he's got to go AoE? Oh no! No! No, I should have done the A2! Don't die. Can't believe it. Oh, we've actually lost it over that. I can't believe it. There's no way. What have I done? I should have done the A2 into the A3. Well, there we go. Bad calls. Bad calls. Bring the Shepherd. We're trying. He keeps getting banned. He keeps getting banned. A man's the Bagnificent. Bagnificent. Is it a beneficent? Um, recently used. See, do I see if I don't pick him up now? Harima. We got the sheep. Amon's the Magnificent. I'm going to be saying that from now on. Um, it's always it's just Sun Wukong versus Amon's everywhere. All the time. Oh, bring the Shepherd, you meant Drock. The first thing he's going to say is, don't bring Amon's. Don't do it. Don't fall to the dark side. Um... Yumiko Marishka. Do we need Marishka? Is the the problem that I always get in right is too much support. If he takes my Harima, I can't do nothing. So I feel like I'm forced into double damage, and just hope that. Then again, like even if he bans my Duchess, I just lock him out anyway. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's see. I need to start doing this all the time. We should be good. We should be good. Harima just hard counters um, rotors anyway. Yeah, I always like. I just haven't been able to use Sun Wukong at all. I used to use him all the time. All the time. Just can't use him anymore. Keeps getting um, chosen. Monkey is not going to kill me. We're going to get some revenge, guys. He's going to metamorph, right? And then stun us.
Shouldn't have done that, buddy. Shouldn't have done that. Take out the warrior princess. Go boom. I need to build up a second good nuka. Who's a good one? I I just don't like building Rotos. I just don't want to. I just don't like Rotos. Maybe I can like revisit Leorius. Could be a shout. I definitely need some kind of good second nuka. I do like using Kanjafon, but I need to get unstuck out of my waist. I'm used to. Oh, boom. There we go. Nice and easy. Come on, next. Yeah, we got the Wukong, but then they get the Amon. So it's like, who do I really value more? You know what I mean? Because if I just go for Amans, he's just like the bannable pick. Everyone just chooses him. So if I choose Sun Wukong, they choose Amans, and then it's just the trade off is always there. But I feel like with this one, I've got more of a trade off value. I'm just kidding. It's too angry. Secure our nukes at all times. Shu Zen. So who's he going for here? Georgit? Oh, he's going to go insta turn Baron. Maybe we don't go for reset this time. Or do we? We'll, we'll take a gamble. I was thinking I'm not bringing the reset and bringing Marishka so we can survive the, the onslaught of Baron. Plus three Rotos as well. Holy crap. So who are we banning here then? The Siffy? The Shu Zen? The Monkey King? It's a, it's a sticky one. Um... Yeah, I have to get the Siffy out of there, man. And hopefully speed enough to outlap them, lock them out, and hopefully not die so quickly. Right? Oh, here we go. Got a boom! Luck out. Oh, you, what? Resisted? That must have been 3%. I got itchy nose. Oh, we didn't manage to get the block uh, buffs up in time, unfortunately. Oof, we've got a time here that we have to do this in. Let's take him out. There we go. We need to take out the Rotos ASAP. If he starts going off... Ah! Uh, go for the Yumiko! Go for the Yumiko! No! Damn it! Ugh. Oh no! The Shoe Zen! She got me! She got me! Oh no! Benito! Damn it. GG's. Get our tokens. It's pretty fun. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, that insta turn. He's not picking his nose, he's pointing at his brain. Facts. <laughs> Alright. Do we just stop picking at our minds now? What do we do? I feel like when he's there, I, I put him on the thumbnail. I just want to use him once. Just one time. It'll be pretty fun. 
All right, let's try to do a different strategy here, but he took my Duchess Lilla too. Where's Sun Wukong? Let's try to secure both. Sun Wukong, where are you, buddy? We need you. It'll be interesting to see who he values more. Ooh, what does this guy do again, this Star Sage dude? Is he the bannable option, guys? Let me know before we get to the banning phase. I'm trying to kill some time with this pick. Is he the one to get rid of? Or is it Rotos? I just don't know. If, I can't remember if this guy's damage or support. Where's Pythion? Where's Pythion? Pythion, where are you, buddy? Where is he? He could be a pick that I could start using. Or even UDK, to be fair. Revive block, skills buff strip. Support champion. He's definitely support, right? If he's support, I'm just going to ban the Rotos. And then he's got no real killing condition with just this dude. Unless I'm wrong. I've never seen Herndig in live arena. What's going on? We just get rid of him. Oh, so we haven't found our Mons. Interesting. Okay. So we've got a lot of support and we've got double damage. We should be able to pull this out the bag. Hopefully. Why is it not picking? Yeah, you can't block debuffs now, can you? Duchess Lily too. Sun Wukong takes you down. Here we go. Boom. She needs to start ramping up with her A2, but we got the Herndig out of there. She's provoked. So there's not really anything she can do right now. But we need to kill that Duchess ASAP. Unless this guy revives as well, right? So you could be bringing back this. I'm interested in this guy. He looks like Kale's dad or something. Alright, so what's he doing there? Get the, get the heals on now. Get a bit of strength in, just in case. I, I, I don't know what to expect with this Herndig. He can be like some crazy nuke when he just takes everyone out. I'm like, oh damn, what happened? Blink of an eye, destroyed. Herndig in live arena. Is this multiplies like that? I, use it, I used to use him in uh, Dark Fae, but really? That surplus was trash. Um, Uncle Dan, welcome to the stream and everyone else as well. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Appreciate you joining the live stream. Oh, he's a little tanky boy. He's a tanky one. It could just be one of those slow and steady wins the race kind of battles. We've got the... We'll see. Yeah, it seems like focusing on Star Sage is the... Ooh, look at that animation. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, we're good. That was a little tickle from the Herndig. A little tickle. I'm worried about this guy doing something crazy. Oh, here he goes. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's about to unleash his wrath. Dark in the... Oh no. 
He was like, yo, I've got, I've had enough of YST. Let's take this dude out. And there we go. Oh, he's coming for us. He's coming for us. So what's he going to do? Woo! Never underestimate the Herndig. My gosh. Don't say there's more crowd control in there. All right, let's take all of this rubbish off. Take you out again. Can't be taking... Take, wait, what? Oh, it's UDK. Um, ah, bring her back. <laughs> this is some crazy battle. We're getting into this. Let's go. Getting the mask on. It's all going off. Need to bring Genzen into the live arena. Ooh, oh my god, wait, wait, whoa, 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 Surplus damage, come on. Ooh, we did a bit of damage. Oh, this is some crazy. Who is this Star Sage guy? Someone take him out the game. What is this control? I was worrying about the Herndig. Should have been worried about the Star Sage. Get him out of there. UDK, his passive. Bane of my existence. What is this? Full out control with a Herndig. Never thought I'd see the day. Damn it. At least I could add that one to the resume. Oh, who did you die to in Live Arena? Herndig. God. Come on. Boom. Oh, that was some nice damage. Let's keep him alive. That is, that is key. Please don't revive again, Duchess. I'm begging you. Thank you. Thank you. Star Sage, whatever your name is, just please go to your other form. You had to stun me. Why are you stunning me? We stunned you. Ha, huh, how about that? God damn it. Back into that form again. Is that the revive form? Oh my gosh. Oof. I just had to guarantee the kill on the Herndig, to be fair. Right, let's get some block debuffs. Surplus, come on. How tanky is he? How tanky is this guy? Oh my gosh, he is taking a beating. <sighs> Infinite revive day or something. Let's get this on. Ah, oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Genzin, just me and you and the viewers today. Get out of here, Star Sage. Starsky and Hutch. My god. That was a fun battle, though. Really enjoyed that. GG's. Damn, I need to look into this Star Sage guy. What was he doing there? Where's he from? Revives all dead allies with perfect veil. So he was running double perfect veil. Removes all debuffs from all allies. Full out cleanse. Then places a block debuffs. Tell me it fills. This champion receives 5 less damage. 5% less damage for each 100 res on this champion. So he's getting a 25%. Oh wait. Welcome to Jazz FM. Here on the YST's YouTube channel. I want you guys to enjoy the vibes. Tune into Jazz FM every single stream. Enjoy. It's also tradition here on Jazz FM to drop a like on the stream if you haven't already. Thanks, guys.
So that was basically Jazz FM, guys. Whenever that song comes on, that's what we do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round 57, fight. Um, shall we try sneak them on in there again? <laughs> Just do it one time. Just one time. Oh, man. People are scared of the wrath of our man's the Banificent. Need to get used to that name now. <laughs> Grape Kale? <laughs> For God's sake. All right. You're going to call it a night? Appreciate you swinging by. Thank you so much, legend. Have a good night, man. Um, that Pyveon did really well there, right? I've not used him in a long time. Oh, I'm taking your Marishka. He, he took my Yumiko. Ooh. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here. I've got a Warlord, okay? I've got a Warlord. But he's not built, okay? So this is just straight out bait to see if he bites it. Where's Warlord? If he bites this bait, I'm going to laugh so hard. Where's Warlord? I hope he's not watching the stream. <laughs> like, then it'll be a nightmare. The Warlord is not built. I'm only putting in there as bait to hopefully go reset for reset. That's the aim here. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. Do the Warlord. Do the Warlord. No, we got some no gear Warlord. Oh. Oh, no, man. What have we done? We got some naked warlord. He's like Scrapper, like no clothes on. Ah. He's got some faction wars gear on, man. God's sake. Holy crap. Okay. Who should we decrease the defense on? Do we just try to get a Siffy out of there? This is a pretty tough battle here. I don't know who to focus on. Maybe we just start taking down the Siffy. Decrease her defense and hopefully get a one shot in there. Once she's down, we should be able to start taking them apart. But she's applying too many buffs right now. This guy is just going to be going pew, pew, pew. He's out of the equation. No nukers now. We've got this naked warlord. Let's see if we got any accuracy to do anything here. Oh, there's no way. There's no way he's got no resistance like that on a Siffy. Oh, God. We're probably going to lose this, you know. But we did reset them. It might give us time to, like, reset a little bit for ourselves. To be fair, I could have held off on that. Uh, healer. We need to keep Duchess. Without Duchess, this is all going downhill. Come on. Get shield on. I should use Warlord more often. I'm actually rebuilding properly. So if Yumiko gets taken, I've still got um, a lockout king. Oh, wait, my music finished. We need to redo it. Shuffle. Right, there we go. I hope you guys can hear the music. I'm trying to get the right levels. Mm. We need a revive here. We need Harima back. Just kill my Marishka the Unbreakable. Get her out of here. 
Yes, do it. Get her out. We need her gone. Yes, keep going. Keep going. Hit on the Siffy in the meantime. Get her out. Ally attack. Ally attack her. Yes. Get her out. Yes. Bring her back. Oh, is this Taras going to go off now? At least he hasn't got crazy buffs on. Don't kill Harima. Woo! Oh, no. This could be... Oh, no. Oh, no. We got hard wrecked. Hard wrecked. I shouldn't have took that bait there. My... Just, just take the W, will you? There we go. GG's. I won't be doing that one again. I thought he was going to take the bait there. Like, we kind of do reset for reset, right? We don't like to have that, but he was just like, hell no. Padre versus Padre. Wait, if he doesn't choose a Padre, I'm going to be upset. And then I might use a Padre for fun. <laughs> Elevator music. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, it is. It's like that, um, do you know when you're on the phone for too long against a company and you're just waiting for them to answer the call? This is the kind of music they put on. That's funny. Oh, I should have got my, I should have locked in the Sun Wukong. Hopefully we can still lock him in. If we can get double, it'll be nice. Come on. Oh, is he is he baiting me now, guys? You see what I mean? Now the warlord wants to pop up. Ah. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to ban Arbiter. Yeah. I think... We, it just depends. It just depends. Let's see. I might have to sit through some resets if he's faster. If he's not, then we could have a good chance here. But we got Armands in the team. Oh, he's faster. Even without the speed aura. How much speed is on that Warlord? Holy crap. No, no, I don't want to take down him. What am I doing? We've got no shields outside of Sun Wukong. Is he going to AoE? It'll be interesting. Damn. Take him out. The one time we got our minds into the team, we, we failed it. I should have just let him have take the warlord out i was just thinking of taking out the increased attack but uh leorius we need to keep this duchess alive 100 percent. she needs to stay alive unless he's just gonna keep resetting me right got that shadow king music on let's go um Do have a revive yet? Damn it, man. <sighs> What's he going to do here? Is he going to do an AoE? Ah, oh, we've lost it again. God damn it, man. You want some Chinese food? Uh, good night, JP. Appreciate you swinging by today. Hope you have a great evening. I did. I just said good night. <laughs> Do you want it again? Good night, JP. Have a great evening. What do you mean you can't see again, Zen? Short on skills. <laughs> How's it going, bro? 
Um, He took my harima. Ah, uh, damn it, man. This is what happens when I've not built enough champions for live arena. <laughs> do, do, do we, do, I don't think we can do some other bait here. Is there anything else we can bait? I just need to get something in the team. What should we use? We need to get Harima out of there because Kanja found weak hits against... Depends what he chooses here. If he goes Rotos, I'm going to be like, for God's sake. Don't go Rotos. Please, Sub-Zero. Get over here. Whoopee. Is that Sub-Zero? I'm getting mixed up with Scorpion. That's Scorpion, right? Get over here. George is the breaker. Hello there. She has to go. She just has to go. Oh, I got... Ooh. Wait. E. Ow. Ooh. E. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Interesting. Didn't expect that ban there, to be honest. I was kind of anticipating the... Ah, oh, shit. Yumiko, please cut in. Just cut in. Please. Cut in. Oh, you're kidding me. How? Like, what? Oh, who's he going to get out? He's going to get out the... Oh, my gosh. I'm having a shambles here. <laughs> An absolute shambles. We just have to pray for a big nuke, like a massive nuke to happen. Alright, let's load him up. If we get if we win this because of this, it just depends on Georgian as well. But as long as he doesn't kill the Yumiko now. Come on, kill it with the Georgian. Don't get under the veil. If she dies, we've lost. Go on, George. No, no, no. Don't kill her, Siffy. Don't kill her. No! <laughs> God. Oh, I'm having a mess. Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to choose Armand's anymore. He's not a pick anymore. He's out of the equation. He's out. He is out. Oh, damn it, man. Yeah, 100%. This is something I definitely want to start um, building for, though, because I'm more of a PvE player. Like I like coming up with new teams for, you know, Doom Tower, Dungeons, or whatever that may be. It's just always been the thing I go to. But I do want to start trying to play some arena, getting into it a bit more. Like, focusing proper on proper builds for these kind of encounters. Um, something that I'm going to try and look towards. But once again, I would like to get Big Papa Drock on the channel. And maybe we could speak about it as the topic, like which ways would he go uh, for me to be a bit more competitive? Because I've got some of like some really top tier champions. It's just about building them the right ways and stuff like that. What do you mean I can't find an opponent? Never seen that pop up message before. Look at this guy's name. How did he do that? With the typing, that's crazy. All right, la. Do I, even, I don't even want to put him in there. He's just bait. This is the thing, man. It's like most people just ban him to get him out, so then I can kind of secure the rest of my team. But I could be messing myself up. <laughs> it pops up when you lose. I don't think I lost three in a row. Did I? I don't think I did. I feel like I won at least one of them there. <laughs> Three in a row. Uh, that's sad times. So you're saying that I'm playing a bot right now? Is this guy a bot? Silver Bullet, welcome to the stream. 
Oh, I can't believe it. He has three on the trot. This is a sad times, man. Sad times. Yeah, that's some random ass team. It's definitely a bot. I don't know if it's a bot or not. Like, it just doesn't seem like a name that would be a bot. That's what I'm saying. Have I just picked up some random champions thinking I'm going to one-shot it and I've not lost three in a row? If so, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> uh, thanks for the subscribes as well, by the way, on the channel. Appreciate you guys. That community post that I put up earlier was so interesting to me. Like, I think it was the most evenly distributed um, selection of scores I've ever seen. Why is it taking so long? Hello! We're trying to play live arena! No, my free-to-play account is gone now, guys. Completely gone. I've decided I'm not playing it anymore. I need to focus on my actual content now because, it, you know, I kind of get so sidetracked with the free-to-play that I neglect a lot of my proper content as well. Not that free-to-play content is not proper, but, you know, in terms of, like, actual champion guides and stuff. Um, surplus. Oh, we didn't get it. Ugh. I think I'm going to lose against a bot as well. This is how crap I am at this game, man. <sighs> Stone skin everywhere. I, mean, I, I, I just don't see how that's a bot. Bots usually press auto and it's all so quick. This guy looks like he's actually selecting times for his skills. I don't know. It's an interesting one. You see right now, it like it seems like he's decision making. Usually with the bots, it feels like it's on full auto and they just do everything so quick. I don't know. There's no bots in gold. Oh. So that's what I was thinking. I picked a team just thinking I was going to one-shot the guy. With like all these random... Wait, what's going on? Yo, this game is buggy. <laughs> Someone put a bug fix through to Polarium trying to set me up here man wait where did wait where did baron come from what was that <laughs> wait no, no baron was dead what happened there trying to recreate Woof. Woof. candy man candy man wait oh see what i mean no they're setting me up raider setting me up there we go nice Oh, we did win. We did lose three in a row, but I still don't think this guy was a bot by any means. There was, there's no way, because he he looked like he was decision making to me. It shows how much that I've been playing live arena of recent times, right? I'm not aware of all this stuff. I I, I knew about the bot thing, but I didn't know there was no bots in Gold Arena. Honestly, freaking Baron came out of nowhere. Can I just give you my free-to-play account? Um, unfortunately not. I'm going to be doing a fair giveaway for anyone to enter. So, yeah. You can enter the giveaway and potentially win it, of course. But I, I, I can't just... I say, if I say I'm going to do a giveaway, I have to give everyone a chance, right?
Um, so have you pulled a mythical champion? 30%? Yes, interesting. Damage, damage. So this is an ideal team for me here. This is an ideal team for me, but Atomans is getting kicked the heck out of here because everyone else keeps banning mine. So, oh wait, wait, don't ban Marishka. Don't ban Marishka, please. Don't. Don't. Oh, thank you. Man, because uh, Marishka hard counters the bomb champions, I just realized it's gonna, he's gonna try Vermilord one-shot me, like his bomb -all. Shocking. Let's see how this goes. It'll be interesting. You had a bot that used three Leorius and you got wrecked. Holy crap. Trying to, trying to initiate Vermin Lord me. Me. After the one shot strategy. There's no way. Look at that. Thank you, Marishka. Thank you so much. He's thinking, damn it. He's thinking, damn, I should have just banned the Marishka. <laughs> Yeah, no bomb damage for us. Sorry, Runda. <laughs> Maybe another time. And watch this. Kaboom! Get a bit of a cheeky heal on just in case. Three, two, one, surplus, kapow! <laughs> we love you, Sun Wukong. Galactic Madness. Wait, is my music stopped again? Oh, no, it hasn't. Uh, yeah, let's try to do that same team again. It seemed like it worked for us very well, right? Let's lock that in. That was kind of the team I used to always use in silver. Very similar to that setup, but obviously you get banned all the time, right? Not banned. Um, there's not that you can't choose duplicate champions. I could always get away with it. But now it's like if I can't secure them early, and then I just have to hopefully they don't choose those champions as well. So it looks like we're setting up for another success here. Depending on these final picks, it could be a bit of a nuisance. Right now he's gone three supports. What's he going to pick here? I'm guessing a Rotos or a Narciss. That's my guesses. Come on, what we got here, buddy? Or AKJ? Um, Adil, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Oh, Leorius, the proud. He's a proud one. Um, should we just get rid of Armand here, guys? Get rid of him. So we'd have to deal with sheep. There's a lot of support here. A lot of revives. Let's get him out. Oh, he, he took out the Yumiko. Interesting. So we got... Okay. Interesting. You got the Leorius. That's why you build your sun Wukong with a bit of accuracy. Just for cases like that. Get rid of him again. Take out the Pythion. Did he use the revive up of Elva already? I can't remember. Yeah, we're doing some live arena today. Bit of fun. Ah! Oh, damn it. Get a bit of this on because that Leoris is looking a bit. Um, all right, let's try to take you out now. Oh, so close. So close. Come on. Take her out. We're so close. Oh, she's healed back up again. Damn it. Ah! Get out, a bit of a different angle for you guys. Wait, here we go. This. Aha! Are you out? 
Get you out. Yeah, we've had a lot of losses. Quite a few wins as well. It's been about 50-50, right, guys? Uh, quite if I recall. There was a big spree where we just messed up a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, we've had a good few wins. Man, that over just went all the way to full health. What? Yeah, that pipe out of there again. Oh, uh, boom. We hit. Bring in Harima. Oh my god, look at those heals. Just from taking a turn. Surplus damage. Dead. Let's go. Another win in the bag. Um, so if we look here, how many did we do so far? So we got... We started here, right? No. Yeah, we started here. We lost the first one, so... Victor oh no, wait. We had a win first. I remember the first one was a win. We've done a bit more, I think. If I'm not mistaken, something like that. I think it was win, defeat, victory, defeat, victory, defeat, 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 victory, victory, victory. It's about 50-50 so far. Not too bad. Yeah, Harima is way too good. Like, I actually underestimated her for a long time. I knew her power, just not how much power, I guess. Watch Amans. Here we go. Thank you very much. Um, Kind of need the Harima, but I want the Wukong. I like the Wukong. Don't pick Harima, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Batman music. Let's go. Plus three Leorius. You know what? I've got um, two or three myself. I, I used to use him so much. Oh, he took my Marishka. He took her away from me. Oh, I didn't expect that. That's how I went for the Yumiko there. Um, This is a sticky one. I don't know who to pick here. Oh, you... Um... This is going to be a long-ass battle now. Damn it, man. I did not expect that at all. Oh, for God's sake... Come on. Go on, kill him. You know you want to. He's just going to destroy all my max HP, and then every time he revives, he dies. This is what he's going to be doing here. Um, do you want to save this? Who's got, are they all got block debuffs up? Yes. Who's going to take a turn next? Leo. Oh, Marishka. Oh, no, I didn't want to click her. Ah, I wanted to click Leorius. God's sake. No. I was trying. I was just like seeing if she had stone skin and I clicked it. Damn. I want to get the perfect veil on at the same time. I just don't feel like I can make it happen here. Let's just get them both back. Hide them a bit. Get a bit of heals. I don't think there's enough firepower to take them out, guys. Honestly. The Harima, that Marisha is just going to keep bringing her back. Is he coming with an AoE now as well? Ah, damn it, man. 
If he kills my pipe units, GG's. We get... Oh, damn. Nice. That was a good win. I did not... I should have known by the Marishka avatar that he's got her. I was like, oh, I'm going to leave it for the last second. And I was like, damn. We haven't got our massive shields. I, I, I'm trying to think... Wait, let me... Let me have a quick look at my roster real quick. Oh, damn it. After this one, I'll have a quick look because then we could strategize which kind of champions to focus on, right? <laughs> yeah. Um. Shinny considers Harima number one for live arena, though it might be because he doesn't have her. Does he not have um, Harima? I managed to get a Martins in. Oh, can we get a uh, Sun Wukong in there as well? That'd be pretty cool. I haven't built Amius yet. I need to prepare it. It's going to take a while, right? Live Arena, then preparing for Amius and the title. In in that order, the way we're going to be doing it. We're not going to be doing all Live Arena. We've got a few tokens left. Otherwise, they're going to be up until like 6 in the morning, like Saf does. What time was Saf? Who was on Saf's stream last night? What time did he get off? Hmm. He takes out Harim, I've got no damage. I need double nuke. Do we need the reset? Probably not. Then he takes out this and I've got no revive. Let's see how this goes. No reset. Oh. <laughs> oh, turbo as well. Ally attack, protection. Well, if I take out the increased attack, what are they going to do? Or do I just take out Makage? No stuns. Just damage from them. If we could survive that, then we kill them, right? Could be a bad play. We might just end up dying straight away anyway. But we'll see how it goes. We've got a stone skin Duchess. He's hoping to one shot us, which he might still do. I'm hoping that without that Mikage, he can't do what he wanted it to do, in a sense. Like stun chain me. Damn, some fast trunder. I feel like I've just not got the right build on Amans or something. Every time we've used him. Oh, here we go. Do we go for the sheep? Or do we go for the stun? Like we do this and then we lead into the other one, right? Oh, no, no. Oh, I did it again. I clicked again. Oh, I did it again. What am I doing? <laughs> I, was, I was trying to do that. I was thinking of stun and then go into the sheep. And I clicked it again. Terrible. Uh, Richie, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm keeping well, thanks. Well, who are you going to attack here? What, Sun Wukong again? That was a waste of a buff right there. Necrit the Greats. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, we do We do a few live streams. I'd say like it's been like once a month recently. Not as consistent as I would like to. But if people enjoy them, then I will do more of them. I and mean, that's just how things go, I guess. Oh. Alright, if we can get a nice surplus now with Sun Wukong here... Boom, boom. Nearly. At least the revive condition's out of the way. 
We got a two sleeps, two turns. Oh no! Ooh! That's dangerous. Get you out. Damage. Nice. Ah, this is. We might actually lose this again. If Trandis got an AoE here, we could be destroyed. GG's. Guys, I'll be right back. I need a bit of a toilet break. One second. I don't know what I'm going to put on here, but I'm just going for a... I don't know. Put a Faction Wars team on. There we go. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. What do we get? Speed glyph. Whoa! Back to live arena. How much tokens we got left? I might do like five, six more battles or so. I seen the chest in the gold arena is actually pretty cool compared to silver. We got like it was enough for a straight out prime or something. I was like, whoa! Happy days. The gear was better as well. Uh, you got Quintus using speed teams, Arbiter, Lydia, Rides of Varg, and Lori Yucca. Nice. Are you finding... For anyone that's got Quintus, how have you been finding him? I've never tried that champion. Obviously, on the test server, they never... I don't think they gave us a chance to use him. If I recall correctly. All right, Leo, take care. Have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you got some good damage in your Hydra team and all of that good stuff. Let's go. Waiting for CVC to use the fragments. Good idea. Good idea. Lazarius. Ugh. Blech. Disgusting. Well, if I take out the Georgit, does he have enough damage to kill me? The Zaris doesn't nuke, right? He's the reset dude. Oof. Um. We could still lose this, honestly. It's possible. If he gets... Because we haven't got any revivers. If he just, like, support... Slowly but surely gets me out of there. 
Zaris can nuke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, let's see how interesting this one's going to be then. Oh, damn it. If he nukes now, I'm scared. Oh, it is. It's an increased attack, increased crit damage. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. <laughs> oh, no. I thought he was just a reset dude. Oh, damn. Got Lissandra. Nice. Was he your first ever one? I love Lissandra. Bit of an older champion, but she still does what she has to do. Probably the best champion in the game for Dark Fae in terms of control mechanics. Really cool. Makes it a breeze. Should have known better. Wait, wait, can I cancel? Let me cancel. Get me out of here. Get me out. Thank you. So I'll have a quick look at my champions to see if there's anything that I might want to start focusing on. Oh, it always does this with the screen, right? It always does this. The screens are... Oh, there we go. So, these are like my core ones that we've just been using. Who's really meta out of this? Roto seems like a no-brainer. I might just have to invest in him. But he's got no gear on at the moment. It's kind of just faction more stuff. Uh, what do you think about Adolin the free champion? You don't think the sleep or block debuffs can single out? I don't think he's impactful enough, no. For Arena. She's good for Sand Devil. Like a three turn cooldown, chance to place a sleep once is like. For well, progression, you might use it a little bit here and there, you know, lock out their reviver and stuff, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not. It's not like crazy for Arena. But you consider an epic champion, such as Miss Cornelia herself. He's an epic champion that does AoE sleep, 100% chance, and also a fear when they lose their turn. So, you know, for a legendary, I'd expect a little bit more. AoE at least. Um... Yeah, Warlord's a shout for a rebuild, for sure. And Korra, I don't have the Narciss. So she's naked right now. No gear. But she's got books. Still a pretty good champion, for sure. I just don't know who else that would fit into my team like that, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm just missing those... Those meta ones you see everywhere. Obviously, Harima is. There's a few good top picks, but it's like once you eliminate those or they get banned, who's my next best option? Probably Leorius as like a nuke option. Baron's just too. It's too slow to be dealing with that. Maybe a cool Leorius build. I used to use them a lot, haven't used them in a while. Got a few of them. I might be able to plus one, plus two. Warlord is like super slow. Look at this. 270 for a lockout is horrendous. I don't have a Necrot. This is the thing. When you don't have a Necrot, it makes it so hard to bring in these squishy um, Nukas, right? We'll do one shot. Let's see if we get a Necrot right now. Here we go. Necrot. No, we never got it, so... We'll think about it. I, I, don't, I just don't know. I, like, I've looked through my account loads of times and I'm like, who can I really bring in here that's going to make a drastic change? 
And I think Leorius is probably the only one because I'm lacking that Nuka role. And then maybe like some form of top tier healer somewhere as well could be the play. Genzin, let's go. I see a, a Genzin follower. <laughs> let's go. Your favorite champion. Genzin respects that. Man, is no one playing live arena today? What's going on? We've been struggling with a few opponents today, right? Yeah, for sure. Need a mythical champion. We'll be happy days. Can't find opponent again. Might do uh, just these last tokens and then we'll go look at some Amius stuff. Decide what kind of team we're going to build. What kind of teams did you guys use for this one? For this rotation? I wish I did this all yesterday when the free regearing was on, man. Yeah, Makagi is great. Do you know when she first came out, right? I was telling people, she's top tier, right? I see that she's going to be top tier. So many people were saying that she's trash. I was like, just wait. <laughs> and then once everyone got their hands on it, like, Makage everywhere, Hydra, you name it, Arena. Um, oh, the Duchess is gone. Okay. See what I mean? It's like, Duchess is gone. Now what? <laughs> you know? It's, this is the problem. I don't want to be in this situation. Like, who's the next best thing? In a sense. Uh, Krila Witch Arm is the new metas. Players think she's support, but mine hits up to 260k versus CB with an A1. Yeah, she's a pretty hard hitter. She's great. She's always been great in my opinion. Just a bit random, right? You need those books to get that 100% chance. But outside of that, she's really, really good. Um... No revive is sticky, man. A sticky situation. No double nuke is also a sicky situation. High film rings no. See, I can't do that. I just I can't do that. I need double nukes because all he has to do is ban Harima. But will he? Is the issue. It's the gamble, right? It is the gamble. We'll see. Let's let's see what happens here. It depends on this last pick. Who's he going to choose? Is it going to be triple damage? If it's triple damage, oh, it's a... Uh, okay. Don't know if that's a good play. Getting out the Duchess. Could have got out the Sun Wukong, right? You see what I mean? He just had to take out her Rima and we're done. We might be okay here, though. We might be okay. We might be okay. Yeah, I think Rotos... I'll tell you what it is, guys. I just There's just something about Rotos I don't like about him. But I know I need to build him up. He could be the thing that I'm missing out on. Like, that, that pick that I'm looking for, right? Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what on earth was that? That was a powerful nuke. That A1, I'm scared to take a big smack of that one now. My gosh. He just wiped out my candy like that. Damn, that's crazy. Um, good on you. 
Hey, we stun. He's just going to have to A1 here. This is like stepping on eggshells, man. Keep his turn meter down. Don't want him to take a turn. Gonna block debuffs up. Sheep you. Turn meter down. Big nuke. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I left the battle. He had a chance to like block revive me and stuff. I would have kept going, honestly, in that situation. I all he had to do was block revive my candy, and I'd have no kidding condition. And I'd be like just A1ing, A1ing and stuff. Amans, of course. Amans on some Wukong today, guys. Happy days. Um, I've never had too many problems against Roto. Sarima and Marishka are great against him. Yeah, hard counters, but if you don't bring them in, you know, it's a bit of an issue, right? It's a bit of an issue. Here we go. Nice. We managed to secure the Marishka, secure the Duchess, bring in a Yumiko. We're good to go. But he does have our base. Is our base the one that does the taunt? Anyone can recall that? Is she the taunt one? She goes into the massive tree, right? Something like that. And she does like a crap ton of healing. If I remember correctly. Is that her? Narcis. We don't have any shields. So we can't double hits. Torn plus SS. Okay. Who do we ban here? It's like it just has to be the Armands, you know what I mean? Yumiko gone. Alright, so lockout's kind of basically eliminated from the equation. We may be okay here. Honestly, if we don't proc our shields for Narcissus to double attack me, we may be okay, but I can't remember who's got blood shield on. Nobody. Perfect. Let him take a turn first. Oh wait, he block revives, right? Does he block revive? If he blocks revives some Wukong, then we're in a situation. Alright, we need to do this. Tell me it feels. Come on. Yes, there we go. Does he block revive? Something is something about the A3 or something he does block revive. He's forced into an AoE, but I've not put the shields on. So he has to do that skill there. Now we take everything off. Boom. Now we need to get rid of that Siffy, but the Taunt could be the issue. So let's take her... Oh, let's try to take Narcissus out first. Come on. Yes. Boom. Nice damage. We just need an ally attack with Marishka, but the Taunt is going to throw us off here. Come on. Come on. Are you going to Metamorph or not? He didn't. Wow. Okay. Well, it's GG's then. I didn't, if he if he metamorphed into the Torn, I would have had to focus that A2 onto that champion and give the Sifia time to revive. I didn't have any AoEs left. Interesting. Yeah, he should have morphed there. He, there. There was a chance for him to bring that back. For sure. Come on, choose your champions. <clears throat> I must have picked somebody that he really wanted for him to be loading for that long. Probably the Harima, right? Yo, LFC, welcome to the YST's Members Club. 
or shall we say Genson's members club. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Legend. Legend FC. Oh, Easter egg dream song. Oh, cool. I don't want to lock her out. I want to see the Easter eggs. That's cool. All right, first time that we're seeing um, Easter egg dream song in arena. Still ranking her up though. I'm definitely not banning the ear straight. Let's just get her out. I want the ear straight to take a turn. She does the um, Easter egg animations. It looks really cool. I've not summoned ear straight yet. No, I haven't. I can do a guide from the test server. I can also do it from my main account, but on my main account, I would like to get some CVC points. So maybe I just do it on the test. There would just be Hydra stuff that I'd want to showcase, primarily anyway. Oh wait, he, she did the Easter eggs, right? Did she do it? I feel like she did it, or did she not? I feel like I've seen some sort of, Oh, it could have been someone. It could have just been Wukong. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Wait, no, she did do it, right? Am I going crazy? I'm pretty sure I've seen a big bunch of Easter eggs. Anyway. She's gone now. She's gone now. I actually picked up a Stoutus recently. I might build him up. Look at that. He could be a good option, honestly. Like an off-topic pick. Nice defense-based champion. Just decrease his defense for now. Get our heal on. Yeah, bye bye Easter eggs. Oop. Yeah, mistake. Boom, boom. Nice. Ah, oh, I was hoping for the candy to go in. The double hits. Kaboom! Yeah, Stoutus is a great option. I might build him up. He could be one of my answers to... Because I've, 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 got, I've used up a lot of my best damage gear. So maybe just building like a defensive-based champion. Like a little off-topic one. Because I love Harima. For those reasons, like being tanky and stuff. Even the candy. The reason why I like him so much is the self-survive ability. With the perfect veils, the increased attacks, the damage reduction. He's not the hardest hitter, but he's one of my favourites to use. Probably, honestly, he's probably my favourite nuker in the game. Andrephon. Since his buff, he's been one of my favourites. He's not my hardest hitter. He's not someone I use all the time. But in terms of just favourite, uh, he's definitely up there for me. Oh, the harem is gone. Damn. Well, he's going to be definitely used right now, isn't he? Stoutus and Slayer set, you're saying? Hmm, interesting. Um, yes, if he, if he bans my Nuker, I'm just going to have to leave. Pretty much. I'm taking the gamble. I'm taking the gamble. If he sees it, hopefully he doesn't see that and he just goes for the Amans. Because then I have no win condition. Just face the guy with two Amans. That's brutal. Um, just get rid of her. Don't really get rid of the candy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, oh, thank God. <laughs> that would have been a nightmare. No nuka. If I was him, I would have just get rid of the candy, finished. Just leave an auto, walk away, get a coffee. You win the battle. 
Thanks for all the subscribes, by the way, guys, and the likes on the stream. Appreciate you. Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Alright. Wukong! Alright, let's get this on. Do we have... Can we kill them? With the wrong affinity here. Let's try to bruise a bit of damage for now. See what we could do. Alright, we did some damage. We just need to cycle that again. Which mythical do I want other than Mesomel? Um, I like Gizmak. Probably Gizmak's up there. One of my favorites. Uh, do you know me? I'm a weirdo. I don't really go for meta champions. I always just want the, the quirky ones. The ones that look cool and... I don't know. I think Gizmax actually got a really good kit. I would use it. Um, maybe Alas or Garu. Probably second and third in line. The Zarius as well, possibly. I'll take anything. Honestly, I'll take anything. Even the even that Hive Lord dude, that Scarab King looking guy. I'd even take him. Any mythical champion, if it procs out and I don't have to wait till mercy, give it to me. I'll take it. <gasps> god. That Wukong nuked so hard. Oh my god. Boom. Killer. Ah, oh, it's... The Damn. Damn, that Wukong smacked. My gosh. Rise, my love. Alright, this can get sticky now. Um... This can get very sticky very quickly. If we don't do something with Candy, we need him to do something here. Oh, damn. Uh, we need Surplus. Well, if she dies, she brings back the Duchess again. So we could... There's a chance here to kind of keep going back and forth. But we want to keep these champions alive as much as possible for now. Resets. It's veiling for now. We need to amplify our damage. Whoop. Get this on again. Oh, I didn't have the block buffs on. A1, that's fine. Keep your terminator down. Let's set this up for the big nuke now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice, nice, we secured it. But, do we take out the UDK or the Ancora? Wukong's gonna come back anyway. Let's take out, the, get him out of there. I don't think she's got Rise My Love yet. If she does, then I'm an idiot. I don't think she has it. Oh, she does have it. For God's sake. Ah, oh, damn it. Get out. Stun yourself. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me, right? Every time I feel like it's just in the bag. Rise my love again. Is that what she's going to do? And Cora is really good by herself, right? I've been sleeping on this champion. 
for sure. Damn, he's really good. I have to take him out for now. I have to. Oh no! Oh no! Big mistakes were made! Big mistakes were made! Surplus, he's got me. He's won. GG's. Now he deserved that. That was stupid by me. I forgot about the UDK for a second. I think this is last battle now for Live Arena. Man, we've been on stream for a while today. I didn't expect to play for this long. It's because, for anyone that's just joined the stream now, basically. It used to be at 8 p.m., which is still is UTC, but UTC here pushes it to 9 p.m., like an hour forward, because of the daylight savers. So, I started at 8, thinking I could go straight into Live Arena, but technically I had to wait an hour till 9 for the Live Arena, so. Which is cool. Been enjoying the stream, to be fair. You guys have been great, keeping me company, all that good stuff. Um... I'm running Gizmac in full protection on Hydra. Nice. I'm still trying to get full protection on my uh, Feral the Barkhorn. I, mean, I just need one. I've got the pieces, right? But not the good pieces, you know. I have to sacrifice like 40 speed because of it. Zarius and... This isn't a nice last battle, man. This isn't a nice last battle. I'm not enjoying this. No lockout. We're not going lockout. We need the double nuke secured. Who do we take out then? Lazarius or Taras? Like, what do we even do in this situation? With a reset as well. I feel like I just got... He was, he was nasty that first time, right? And hopefully we don't die. Is the key here. They've got a reset, double nukes. It could be nasty. But hopefully we can pull it off. Oh. Sheep. Interesting. He never managed to hit the surplus. Why would you do that? Why why would he do that? He you got lucky that I got the fear, but I wouldn't have personally done that. Um I think we just go with the big nuke, try to take out the Kaimar. We, we got a thing on, so you can't reset, right? Or has he done it already? That's right, you could take out her if you want. No problems. Oh, nice. That was a clutch one. I think he's got the AoE buff strip. But that was clutch. He hasn't got a lot of buffs here, which is interesting. It's a bit of a weird team, but it's working for him, right? Bit of a weird team. Who did I ban again? Oh, wait, there's the reset. Now he's going to go for me big time. Let's just go for a quick nuke. Boom. Little one. We never could have, we couldn't got all the damage that we wanted. Let's boost this. Don't kill the Harima, please. It's like we're both treading on eggshells here. Like, oh, are we going to survive it? Are we not? Okay, increase attack. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's got no more reset. No more reset, but he's got a sleep. He's got a buff strip. We're going to take out the Arbiter. We're going to go with an AoE. Take them out. Final enemy. Let's not get complacent here. Nice. Nice. We ended it on a high, guys. Let's go. I'm happy. Um, so, basically, what I'm trying to do is get a bit more... 
things into my fire knight. We've pretty much done a lot of the Hydra battle, which I don't feel like I need any more for now. I feel like we've, you know, up to, to where we need to go. And fire knight is basically the area I really want to start doing some better damage. So maybe ignore defense first as a focus. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this? Like, I think ignore defense is the one, right? Don't really need any more speed. I'm speed tuned. We're good. A bit of extra speed can't help, but... Or well, could help, but... How much is this? 400. We could treat ourselves to a bit of ignore defense. Maybe give ourselves a bit more crit damage in the process or just save up for more. Yeah, I think ignore defense is the best thing here, right? We're good. How much is the next one? 500. So, we could, so I just need to keep saving up and then get this up. And I would love to max this out. So that's why I keep doing live arena. We still got tokens. We got one more token. What do you say, guys? Shall we do five more? I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. Let me do a poll. I got a yes, no. I leave it up for 60 seconds. Quick flash poll. We'll do a classic arena battle while we're waiting. Oh, the poll is 96% yes so far. No, we've not done Amius yet, and I don't think I'm going to be cheesing it. <laughs> I want to do a proper strategy for this one. Oh, of course, it's our resets. To be honest, Kaimor could be one of the picks that I bring into Live Arena. He was pretty good in that battle that we just faced, right? All right, it just looks like um, people want more live arena battles. Let's do it. We've already got five more battles anyway. Let's do it. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to completely beat Amius today. It will take some re-gearing. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we're definitely going to try and prepare what we're going to be going for. See the options. See the kind of teams. And all that good stuff. And then we might beat it as well. Let's see. There's just a few of my champions who need some re-gearing. Let's get our Sun Wukong in there. Let's go. We brought it back. Live Arena. We've returned. It's oh no. We shouldn't have returned the whales, the krakens. They're out to get me. Alright. Uh Oh, Ultra? Ultra for what? As in like, what do you mean by Ultra? Ultra settings? This is a nasty team to face, you know. I'm actually worried about this one. I don't know what to do. Warlords, Amans, and Harima. Come on, buddy. You've literally got some top tier champions on the board. You got what you wanted. Here's Mac the Terrible. 
Who do we ban here, guys? Warlord is an absolute nuisance. But so is Harima, and so is Amans. Ugh. Disgusting. Uh, I'm getting rid of the Harima. <laughs> I got rid of the Harima. I got rid of it. I don't know why I did that, but we did that. I'm just thinking, like, hear me out. I'm thinking we might be able to A1 kill them. Right? I don't see their win condition unless Gizmat hits harder than I think. But Amans, Amans and Warlord together is going to be disgusting. But if we can A1 kill them, we could win. There's a, there's a chance here that we could win. Oh, no. There's no bloody chance here, YST. We are winning. We are winning nothing. Uh... Oh, there we go. Let's take him out. Positive energy. Here we go. Yeah, I bet you didn't think about that, Gizmak. Back you with your stick, your magic staff, detonating your burns on me. Bah! Our man's are magnificent. One upside is we do have a force champion, so we might, you know, here and there, get the resisted, the weak hits, the Kandrophon. It could be a long battle, but we'll see. Greatest hits. Oh, he got me. He got me. Ah, I feel like quitting this one already. No. Oh. TikTok. Wait, what's, what's he waiting for here? I, I don't understand. What's he waiting for? For Christmas? Everyone is stunned, buddy. Oh, he's going for a... Oh, the big boy's out. This is what he's waiting for. Come, boom! Yeah, I think this is one. This one's GG's, man. I'm just going to let him have it. We're going to be all night doing that. What would you guys have banned in that situation? Would you have got rid of... Because the Harima was nullifying my Kandrafon's effects, right? Being the Demon Spawn Champion. Amans would have stayed in there. If I got rid of Amans, Warlord was still in there. Like, what, would I, what was I supposed to do there? You know what I mean? It was a bit of a... He got me in a bit of a weird situation. You would have got rid of the Elva, really? And then kept the Harima in there. I don't know. I just feel like that. There's like no matter where I went, I was literally fucked from every angle. <laughs> there was no way that I was I was gonna win that situation. I let him get all the top tier champs there. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, guys. Um, me and Saf and stuff was thinking of coming down to maybe TwitchCon in... Where is it? Not the one in the US, the one in Europe. Wait, where is it? Near Amsterdam. I forgot exactly where it is. We were thinking of going to it. If anyone's from there, let me know. Or going to the event, I guess. Where can you use Snick Track? He's arguably one of the best decree speed champions in the game. Or Hydra Boss, in my personal opinion. I still use him in my team. Um, he's also just great for anywhere, <laughs> pretty much. The shield is really good. Like, just a progression champion, absolutely anywhere. But also a top tier option for Amius in terms of ally protection that doesn't switch out the buffs, right? From the base, from the second form. Yeah, I think it's in Rotterdam, yeah. 
It could be. It sounds like, yeah, I think he is there. We were thinking of just coming down, spend a weekend, get back out, go back home, sort of thing. Because the one in the US is like a full out week, right? You need a full week of prep and all that good stuff. But we've been thinking of it. Yeah, it's that one, the end of June. So are any of you guys close by or visiting that? We might be swinging by. We might be swinging by. Oh, wait. Why did I do that? Why did I do that with you, son of Wukong? Yeah, go second team could be a good option. It's just about how fast are they going to be, right? Pretty much. Oof. And you can't always guarantee that you're going to get your the champions that you want in there in terms of damage as well, right? But we'll see. I do need to definitely get some more speed into my builds. Oh, Duchess is down. Duchess is down. Let's get him out. Boom, boom, boom. Is he dead? Yes, nice. Oof, so close. So close there. Does he have his, does he have his revive? Does she have her revive? She doesn't. Okay. Seven plus. Nice. In the bag. We've got three more battles to go. And then we're finished for live arena. Hopefully we get some good wins here. We get some more medals. What are they called? They're called crests, right? They're crests for the live arena ones. I'm still going to call them medals. Finding the opponent. It's been happening a lot tonight. Who's that in the back there? What, Baron? Uh, Supreme El Hain? Did we fight this guy already earlier? Or was it just the same portrait image that I'm getting thrown off from? Oh, he took the Harima straight away. It's like he just knew what I wanted. It's like he knew what I wanted. I think you need to build a bit of a fast uh, Amans. Mine's only about 300 speed. He needs to be at least, at least. Oh no. Ah, this is a nasty one. Um, we have to get that Yumiko out. There is no way I'm dealing with that. I also don't want to deal with Harima. Oh no. Um... I, I should be building Rotos, right? I should be building him up. That's going to be my aim for the next stream, is get Rotos built. I just feel like he'll just... He changes so much for what I need him for. You know what I mean? My Yumiko is not too slow. It's slow in the grand scheme of things in terms of top top. She's about 345, 350. Um, but she's not fast enough to compete with like the top is end of arena sort of thing. You know what I mean? Oh, straight there. Damn. Who's he going to get? Oh, wait. He's going for the Duchess. Oh, interesting. Do, we, do you know what? I'm going to go for the increased attack first. I'm going to go for the increased attack first. See if we can kill that Leorius. Oh, no. We might be able to kill the Arbiter. Extra hit into the Lady Makage. Kill them. Let's see. Come on. Kill the Arbiter. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. 
Um, I'm good because he's got the increased attack, and I'm gonna bring Marishka back as a safety feature. Because there's a chance here we can get absolutely wiped. Um, a bit of damage. We can only weak hit against her. And kill everyone. Boom. Yep. That's fine. Sun Wukong comes back. There we go. Is she got an AoE? If she's got an AoE, then we kind of messed up. Nice. Get Leorius out. Um, it's A1. It's not going to be enough. Oh, no. Two, three. Oh, we lost it. Ah, that was a close battle, though. That was a close battle. The Harima is too tanky, man. Rotus and Pythion. I don't have the Siffy. It's always put me off wanting to build it. I can't believe we lost that one. It was so close. It was a close battle, that one. He's really locked in his reviver, so I doubt he's going to go Duchess. If he does, I'll be surprised. Let's see. And I lock in that damage, man. Oh, the Yumiko. A lot of support. He's going to have some top tier damage dealers here to reset with the Kaimar, right? Stoutest Dragon Bane and Alika. Alika? What? Oh, damn. Yeah, he's going for a straight out. Massive nuke on me here. He is like, no Marishkas today, YST. You're about to get pummeled. If he strips the stone skin off his GG's. Oh, thank God. Try to get a bit of perfect veil on. Can we lock out his cooldown? Oh, nice. Which skill was it though? Oh, damn it. Let's try to let them just use all their skills. Do what they have to do. There we go. Let's take you out. Oh, man. He's going to reset. Is he going to be able to kill the Stoutus here? Is the... Or kill the Duchess with the wrong affinity. If we get a weak hit, there's a chance here of winning. Because of a big nuke now and kills us. Okay, there's a chance now. Unless she kills me. But she can? Yes, she can. She's a top tier damage dealer, that Alika. I remember Scratch was talking about it. Wait, what happened there? Guys, are you still here? Just put a one. Number one if you're still here. Screen just glitched the heck out. What was that? You're streaming? Alright, I see the ones. Thanks, guys. The PvE King, rest in peace. Um... Now, this is the last live arena battle now. We feel like we've done... We've gone through like 20 battles today. 25. Never, I never do this many. Usually do about 510. Your damage monkey has about 400. He doesn't need any stats. Accuracy. Nice.
No more water. No more water. Um. I was doing my walk earlier, right? And got hit by thunderstorms, hailstones. I was like, what a bad time to walk. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing here? Yeah, it would be cool to get Drock on. Like, I know what... Obviously, I've been playing the game for years. I do understand what's needed to go to the next level. Uh, it's just about what kind of... What is the meta in terms of, you know, obviously, Amon, Sam, Wukong, but outside of that, in a sense. Or what kind of combinations are popular. Like, Amon's is just there as bait. Like, once he... Oh, wait, Queen Eva. Oof. Queen Eva. She could block revive. She can block revive. That could be nasty. Could be nasty. How's it going, Bronco? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Alright, what can we do here? Let's get a bit of this going on. We're gonna try to take out that Wukong. Um... Do you know, there's not really anything we can do here. We're not going to kill anyone. Let's just try and manipulate that defense. Take it down a bit. If he... There's a chance here that... Oof. Oh, we're good. The block revive is single target, right? Do a bit of damage. So we can only do it on the Duchess. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Let's go. Get some sh that was that was perfect. He didn't have enough accuracy on his Wukong. Yeah, you gotta watch out for Eva now, man. She got a buff. She I forgot because I was actually at Nub Braid's house in Ireland once the buff came out. So I didn't really see too much about what she was doing now. Let's self-buff you, keep you protected. Yeah, but maybe we damage out, bruise them a little bit. You're not really gonna surplus too much, I don't think, from that build that we've seen. Can we get some damage in here? Get a bit of a shield on her at least. Now there's a chance here that our Duchess falls to the ground. A very big chance. From this Queen Eva. She doesn't have increased attack. Oof. With increased attack, that would have been GG's. Get a bit of a hit on you. Weaken you a bit. There's not much we can do, is there? It's A1s. We just have to wait for that UDK. Bane of my existence. To allow us to take a hit. Oh. UDK is just sitting there like a... Alright, here we go. Kill the Pythion. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Self-hide yourself. Cleanse off the debuffs. Here comes the A2. 3, 2, 1... Didn't really do much, did it? Sad times. <laughs> Come on, this is the final battle. We need to win this one. We can't be losing against this son. Woo Kong. Oof, turn to a sheep. That's fine. We can deal with the sheep. We can deal with the sheep. You know, some ally attacks. We'll take it. At least she's not killable right now. Look at his lightning cage, it's still spinning around. Ally attack. Bah! I feel like just grabbing that. Ah! We are now lightning cage. <laughs> now we're in the battle now. When is it my turn? I need to use my A3. Alright. Wait, Marishka, take me in for an ally attack. Come on, we got this. Final battle. Woo, I'm getting dizzy with this lightning cage, I tell you. Alright, 
Oh my god, it's just sleep chain after sleep chain. At least I'm not the one getting put to sleep, you know? Living life here, it's a bit scary in the arena battlefield. I'm telling you. Woof! Dodging all those attacks. Alright, Harima is back. So one thing we could do here is allow Marishka to die and the Sun Wukong to kill everybody like that. And just let him kill us now. Right? Well, I'm still alive. He needs to revive me. Yes. Kill him. But don't kill me. Kill the Marishka and then we can revive. It's me. What's he waiting for? Oh, oh we're back again. Oh, we got revived. We're back. And what do we do? Straight back into the ride with the Marishka. Aha. Goodbye. Neely? Get him out of there. Get him out of there. How's it going, Nathan? Welcome to the stream and everybody else. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're currently doing our final live arena battle for tonight. And there was no way I wasn't getting involved. All right. I'm about to kill myself. No, please. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I'm such an idiot. All right. There we go. Final battle. Even I died in that one. And live arena is active in two hours. So we did the full segment today. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I just took myself out. All right. Um... Curse City, Amius. Amius the Lunar Archon. Back in my days, we used to use this and that. All right. What kind of team are we going to build here, guys? I might not do the entire team today. But I am going to prepare the team today. What are we using? What kind of strategy? And all of that good stuff. So, what I was thinking was... Um, we got Venomatious Rotation? Yes. What kind of star is Brimstone for... No accuracy needed? It's a 5 star, right? Protected Smite at 5 star. So, that being said, we do have a Mountain King. Very tanky. Could be placing the Smite for us. But to be fair, he could be really good for my live arena battle as well. Or we just do it with no Smite. That's a, that's a thing as well. I'd say something like... Wait, who else we got in here this rotation? We need a healer. We need a healer. Damn, is there no heals for this rotation? What's going on here? Mm. There's not a lot of good healers here, guys. What's going on here? Sanesha, good option. The equalizer heal, but it's not of actual heal. He does a full heal, right? Fully heals a target. The thing is, they've messed up uh, Faultless Defense. They've messed up Faultless Defense. So the strategy I used to do when the first boss came out and there was no strategies out there and I was there for hours knocking my head on the wall thinking, how on earth do I beat this boss? It was kind of taking the A1 hits, but there's no ally protected. There's no snick track. Um... Who takes that smack there? Probably Venomage. I feel like Geomancer fits into this team as well, right? Because you could strip off the buffs that get swapped. Pretty much. Where's Geomancer? 
Oh, no, I've got heals in here. Maybe Geomancer takes the damage because if we get 15% damage reduction from Geo's passive, 15% damage reduction from the heal reduction, 30% damage reduction on top of the, um, the bonus of the Ascension. Stacks up to 25%, so it'll be, it'll be like a tickle of damage for three to six stars. Is it the same for this form? Yes. And then we also take less damage for the stacks on that A1, right? Stacks up to 50%. On a three to six stars. So if we could just survive the first one. One, two, three... Decreases... Damage increases by 20% for each debuff on the enemy. So we need a cleanse debuff, which is the Pythion. But can you put the Pythion and then still go into the second form? Not tried it yet. These champions are by no means at the stats required for this boss. Let me just get a feel for it quick. It's been a while. I didn't do the last few rotations. something like this if I remember correctly it's been a while I'm trying to remember the turn order and he'd go boom switch the buffs then you'd apply your things that you want obviously they haven't got the gear on or you'd remove it then you'd place your heal reduction like that yeah then you take some burn damage. And then he's going to go into his alternate form next. Buffs are wore off, so he should just be doing an A1 here. So here, because we haven't got any buffs he can swap, he's just going to go A1 into Venomage, like that. And that way you can actually nullify the effects of the A3 into A2. But weirdly, I feel like we kind of want that. Right? We kind of want it. So dead. That's fine. Dead. Heal. Yeah. Alright. I kind of got the gist. Okay. So... But well, one, this Geomancer is a pile of crap in terms of accuracy. What's the stats that I need? Um, Cursitius and Tranos, Amius, Hard. One. So he's at a 450 resistance. 550 accuracy. Okay. How much speed? 250. What's my other Geo saying? This one's got a 5 star blessing, which is why I'd rather use him. My other Geo is more optimized though. In terms of gear. This is my relentless one, which I wouldn't want to do. Preferably. Where's Geo number two? Am I being blind? So, yeah, this one's only a two star. Crap. Um, well, one thing is just switching over the gear, right? Switching over the gear is a quick fix. A very quick fix. Or we just work on what we got here already, which is probably the better idea, right? So, what we could do is break the Relentless set. Let's not do a quip for now. Let's just see what we got rocking. All right, that that works. What's this? That works. 
going to be about 4.5k if you well basically the way that the boss does the a1 is based off the highest hp lowest hp no yeah lowest hp in your team everyone else has to be above for that a1 to determine where it's going so everyone has to be a higher hp than my geomancer in order for him to take that ability but at the same time can he survive the onslaught here because if everyone's taking that AoE damage, right, we may need to nullify the effect in the ways of Defiant Gear, Stalwart Gear. So he's not taking the same hit as everybody else. It's the way that we can keep that even for a longer battle. Um, so that's basically how we would have to be playing this here. Is there a way we can just get him in Stalwart? That'd be ideal. But we need the accuracy. That's a nice piece, actually. I like that. Um... We need the freaking accuracy. I don't really use Geo anymore. Do I? Oh, 150 gems. Get out of here, Raid. I don't have the fighting game, man. I didn't buy the Forge boss. Would have been perfect for the top two sets. Hmm. Maybe it can work. Maybe we just... It might just work, guys. It might just work. I think we've done it. With Defiant Gear. It doesn't alleviate the most because we kind of want Star Wars or stacks of it. But 15% damage taken, I will freaking take it. I will take that. And it gives us the accuracy that we need. Okay. We don't want to get his HP too high, but we want his defense high. Because we're going to be mitigating the incoming defense, it's not going to be a full ignore because of the high star blessing. We can actually afford to have a higher defense, which is going to, you know, we're still going to take less damage, right? Or does he complete, completely ignore it? I don't think he completely ignores it. Or maybe he does. Attacks one enemy two times, ignores 100% of the target's defense. Okay, so he does. Okay. But we want the higher defense for the AoEs anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Two four eight is too slow. Really, a five star? Are you taking the mic? A five star, and you gave me that crap. Oh my god, you're taking the mic, raid. All right, defense. We'll take that. Defense. How much accuracy we got right now on this? That's a pretty high roll. Um, is there anywhere else we can get some accuracy instead of doing masteries? Four, three, one. Damn, we're still a little bit, little bit low, man. Six. Come on, accuracy. Ah, oh, res. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's more like it. But it's off the other Geomancer, which we don't really care about, right? Well, I do care about it. I'd have to put it back later. But that's what we wanted. There we go. Sorted. Sorted, snorted. Seven. Beautiful. High road. Okay, there we go. I think Geo's good. 250 speed. 
Ideally, we want him faster than that, though, man. We want him faster. Because what's going to happen? Well, basically, we need him faster than Venomage. Or any of the debuffers. Because he's going to be the debuff stripper. Removes all buffs from all enemies. So we actually ideally want him faster than this. We actually want him faster. Sorry, Yumiko. It comes off you for now. Uh, Venom Age, how fast are you going? 215. Um, uh, yes, I use Geo and Iron Twins, yeah. So I'll have to put that piece back later. Is that an accuracy test? Though it is. Whoa, what did I do there? Hey, my mouse is doing some crazy stuff today. She's very slow. Very slow. In hindsight, it doesn't really matter who takes the hit. Venomage or her. I mean, um, Geomancer or Venomage. Two forty, but still a bit slow. We're over capped here, so maybe we can get some more speed out of the shield. Um, you cheese Amius of Godseeker. Nice. Yeah, I'm not really um I didn't really want to cheese. Uh, for this one, I wanted to try build a full-on strategy. Just for a bit of fun, you know. It's kind of perfect. I'm not using Cold Heart at the moment. Gives us the speed we need as well. 
Let's steal that for now. 250 bang on a dot. Damn. But how much HP she got now? 63,000, 3.1 defense. 52,000. So he should be taking it, which is perfect. Um, he should be fine in this build. Doesn't really matter. Maybe a bit more speed might be needed. Pretty much. Newt, he needs a bit more accuracy. Was decreased attack, right? He needs a lot more accuracy. Don't really want to mess around with his build, to be honest. Hi, right, Fionn. Then we need a healer. Who, who's a good healer here? We need a good healer. Uh, I need someone to force the buffs as well. This is a this is a bit of a shambles. Oh, damn. Um, I don't know, guys. Do you know, like, when you, you kind of want to make him switch forms in the alternate, right? Because I don't have my stick track. Don't have my ally protector. I don't think I could survive every hit. But I can survive a hit. So I just need someone that's placing those buffs at that time. So the boss is like, oh, you know, trying to, you know, trying to mess everything up for you. Who's ideal for that situation? Underpriest? You don't really want block buffs though, do you? You don't want decrease attack. Unless we just do it for Pythion's one and then we go back and forth. Two turns. And where's my decrease attack? Who's my decrease attack champion? Ah, oh, this is a mess. Technically, she could be. If we time the skills properly with that decreased attack, that's sorted. Don't really want to build new for that much accuracy right now. I really don't. But I could if I wanted to. You know what I mean? How much would we need? Who for the final champion? Increase attack. Basically, the buffs have to be ones that can actually be changed out. So, you know. Strengthens into weakens. Continuous heals into heal reduction. Need someone that places the buffs, but also can heal. Who was that dude that I was talking about earlier? Anchorite, right? Can I just use Anchorite? You know, Underpriest is probably the better option, but he fully heals the target. So when they take that big smack, it's like, boom. You know. But Underpriest may be able to be that champion as well. But Anchorite actually places those buffs. Where is he? He does something like that. So it removes one random debuff from all allies, which is cool. So that could actually be working as a little bit of a cleanse. Increased crit rate, increased crit damage, which we don't really care about. So when he does the sleep into the thing right we fully heals a target with this so you'd have to do this in a rotation like just before the boss kind of changes you'd place this up kind of reheal that ally that just took the single damage right and then he's gonna you know do decrease crit rate decrease crit damage and then you would go into this one cleanse it off you know what I mean? Or you could just extend this value of the block debuffs. 
that could be the play as well. Let me let me let me build him up. I think he might be the play here. Um, we we'll just get him in a regen set. It'd be nice. It's a little cheeky one, you know. I think he's the only one that I could think of here. That anyone else think of anyone else that you guys used for this? Generation. Oh wait, Tomb Lord could be nice. He's got decreased attack and decreased defense. But we've already got that with Venomage, but we need the poisons. But that would be a good option. It would be a good option. Um. <laughs> I tried it there. Try this one. Sorry, God Seeker, we just got to take it off you. Sorry. It's too much speed. I need to rebuild my Godseeker anyway. How much speed is he at now? 247. All right, I think we've got somewhat of a team. Oh, do you know who else would be really good there? I just seen him. I just seen him. Runekeeper does duck. Where's he gone? Was it Runekeeper that I see this guy? I'm pretty sure I seen a Runekeeper. Yeah, Runekeeper's here. Ah, oh, he's perfect for this. Because he places that increased attack, right? And he removes all debuffs. This is massive. Maybe I should have built him instead of Anchorite. That could be way better. Right? No, we don't need that um, accuracy on Anchorite. He's just he's just a buff extender, buff placer. This could be very powerful. He actually also has a leech on the A1. Ooh. So maybe if this doesn't work, we could try him out. It could be the play. What's Ankrite's aura, by the way? Is it HP? Oh, they're both the same. Okay. Listen to A1. There we go. Yep, the venom age. Oh no no. Damn it, what did I do? Messed it up. It's been a while since I've done this. So the idea here is that we would place the buffs. 
He's going to switch us out, do an AoE. Survive it. Right. Um, I guess we just get a decrease attack on. For now. He's going to do an A1 then switch form. How does this go here? Do I block debuffs now? But then that will for basically because we've got two debuffs, it should force him into the other one, right? So let me do this now. And she should be able to survive one hit. Yeah, by the scrape of our teeth. That was close. Boom. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we'll take this off, right? Your reduction goes out. So but you see, we kind of got the team going, right? And she's going to die now. So, you know, we know what to do. We know what to do. This is this is how I do all my, like, whenever I'm building a team, it's all eyeballing. I don't do any maths. It's literally, I just see everything in my eye. So I know how that needs to work now. She needs the survivability. I kind of want Venomage... Or Geomancer, sorry, to be taking that damage. I didn't want her to take that smack there. But I did mess up the heal. I messed up the heal on Anchorite. I'll try that again. I think we could just pull out of the bag, to be honest. I messed it up. Uh, A1s. We're not going to even do the max HP. It was a bit of a waste earlier, right? Yeah, there you go. Heal, no problems. Now we go with the block debuffs. Oh, no, no. Ah. How's it going, Darren? Welcome. Um, Richie, sorry. Oh. Just trying to get Amius done. I didn't plan to beat it tonight, but we, we might be able to do it. I'll try a few attempts. I feel it's not fast enough. Way too slow. Holy. Okay. Way, 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 way too slow. Um... I really don't care about the stats on this. 250. Let me just see if he takes a turn before I keep messing around with that. Yeah, man. I think this is the longest stream I've ever done in my life. So the idea here is we should be placing the block. The, oh, our true speeds are fucking me up. God's sake. To be honest, I could still work. I could still cleanse it off this. It's not a big deal because you've got one turn stone skin. But it would mess up later. Um, Try one more. We need a bit more speed on you then. All right. I got no more speed glyphs. So I can't even do that either.
<laughs> no, I can't go till 6 a.m. I've got to take my kids to school in the morning, man. I was not planning to go for this along, but here we are. Block debuffs. There we go. Ends it off. HPs, boom. She needs a turn there. Now she's too slow. What's going on here? I swear she had the speeds. Uh, yeah, yeah. Too fast. Same bloody true speed problem. Max HPs. A ones. Wait, what? How is she not cutting in there? How much time? Wait, what? Wait, what? How does how that even make sense? Wait, what the fuck is that all about? I am ruining my account right now so badly. I'll have to look back in the stream to see what I've done. If this doesn't now, I don't know what's going on here. She should be cutting in and taking a turn there, right? She's above the 250. Yes. Take that off. She has to be taking a turn here, like, come on. Oh my gosh. What the on earth is going on? I, I'm I'm completely my head hurts. What what is this all about? Two sixty. Two five eight. He should be fastest. Two six two. Yes. Him. Two five seven. You. Two five five. How on earth are you not taking a turn? But Ankarite is the boss is two fifty speed. Fucking hell, man. All right. It's going to drive me nuts in a minute. Ripping apart all of my gear on my account for this. But that puts him too fast. I don't want it that fast. I don't want it that fast. I don't, I don't, I don't. Boom. Your reduction goes out here. Once. Max HPs. Now oh, he's not going to take a turn. 
Wow, he took some damage there. Holy crap. So he's going to go into the alternate form now, right? Oh no, okay. Still got a bit of time. Now we place... Oh no, we can extend it, right? Extend the buffs. Increase accuracy. A1s. A1s. Okay. So now we should be switching out our buffs. Yes, that's what we want. Kill us. We want to decrease attack at the same time. Okay. And now she should be taking the thing. I the team is fine. It's just out of tune. Gonna decrease attack on. Boom, boom. That's fine. That's fine. Now he's about to switch form, right? Metamorph. Metamorph kind of stuff. That's fine. A1s. We've got two debuffs. No block debuffs. Fuck. Ugh. Only him. That's okay. That's, that's okay. I can deal with that. Fully heal him. Cleanse those off. Heal reduction. A1, heal the thing. Take the damage, yes. He's gonna still do an A1. I, I, where, I can't tell when he's... Is he still gonna do another A1 or not? I think there's one more A1, right? Up the Feno. Yes, one more A1. Max HP here. No decrease attack again. Ooh. Oh my god. Decrease attack. What can I do here, guys? Geo is going to die, right? Do we just try and... Nah, no Reaper. No Reaper. I can kill him. I'm just scared of... Once he takes this A1 now, he's going to do like a what? An AoE, right? I didn't, I didn't anticipate him to just do the A1 there. I felt like I had some buffs for him to swap, which I didn't. Which is why he's now doing the A1. But he's going to kill the... Kill Geo. Sneak Maniacal Bedlam. Boom. Switch form. Change the debuffs. We need a block debuffs for that. Right? But he still needs to do that. But ability. This is kind of a fucked up situation. Um... Because he's still got three Eclipse buffs. He's dead. Yes. Maniacal Bedlam. Switch form. Oh, he went for... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, interesting. 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 We need two debuffs out. There we go. Haha, -ha, Mr. YST has finished the boss. Pretty much. Oh no, he can't. Wait, is that. Wait, 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 wait. Is that block debuffs? Oh, it's not. Thank God. Whew. Look at that. 
Yeah? Look at that! First proper attempt! Let's go! Real teams! Strategies! I'm excited, man. That was cool. I visualized the team. We built the team. Pretty much the first time since the rebuild. Boom! And I'm tired. <laughs> I can't wait to get to bed, man. I'm really hyped for that. Ah, Whoa, well, Zach, thank you so much for the members for three months. Absolute legend. And we're going to go summon that remnant for just for you guys, of course. Of course. It's been a long stream. That was cool, man. Eventful stream, right? We did Live Arena. We did Amius. With a cool strategy. I thought it was pretty cool, right? Not too bad at all. Not too bad. I'm just going to get a quick screenshot of that, just so I've got the... Um, just in case I make a video, I need to fine-tune it. As you've seen, it was a bit clunky, right? <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, we made it happen, man. We made it happen. We made it happen. What have we got here? Any cool pieces? Damn it, what did I do there? Um, pretty cool. I'll, I'll look at this later. I'm too tired for this now. Um, let's go to the Remnant Summon. Here we go, guys. Our first ever Mythical Champion is coming out of this shard. Because we just beat Amius. And we get a freaking new Matogi. you got to be kidding me, man. At least it's Shadowkin. <laughs> but guys, that's all for the stream. That's all for the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. As always, I wish you all an amazing rest of your day. And um, go check out the Grand Oak Padrake video I posted yesterday. Which was uh, pretty cool. And maybe we'll do an Adolin guide tomorrow. Adolin or Morag. I've not really decided yet. I will be fine-tuning this team as well to do a guide on it if anyone else was interested. But feel free to watch back the stream if you wish so. And yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See ya. Who's ready for the transition? It's going to be so smooth. We've got to get the music on as well. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, look at that. That was perfect. Good night, guys. See ya.